Alrighty, hello, hello. Hope you're all doing well today and hope you're ready for some Kobold Gaming, bro. It's Kobold Gaming time. Once upon a time, we attempted to take Canor's Kobolds and failed. Uh, we got to Admin Tech 4 in 1496 and everything kind of fell apart. But we're going to go for it again and we're, we're going to win these this time. And I'm not, I'm not going to go crazy on the conquest. Maybe we'll see. I say that now, but like, ugh, you know, it's real tempting to keep conquesting when you can beat them. No, this is not an achievement. This is just uh, for our own fun. For our own fun. Uh, hello, Pink Leader, Tavarna, Fallen Hearts, Morn Solace, uh, Jet Ken Wong, <clears throat> Pink Venator, Jaus, Zarduck, Alexander the Great. I'm here telling people I teach college classes. Which I don't know. I don't know why you're doing that. Cause that's not true. That's misinformation. I, I certainly do not. Uh, Irish Ninja, Froyo, uh, Megostein. Hope you're all doing well today. <clears throat> all right. Uh, the reason I'm late is because okay, I woke up late. All right, and then I went to go get some fast food because I needed to eat before stream. And I was like, oh, this will be fast. There was one person in front of me. Uh, in the line and it took 20 minutes for me to, to get my food. I'm not sure what they were doing. Um, these darn kids these days just can't, can't do things with me. I need to fix my overlay real quick. Um, hello, Nidius and Rafa. Hope you're doing well. I need to change my Megastein. Thank you for gifting a sub. Very kind of you. Appreciate it. Uh, where, what am I looking for? Not you. Not you. That's a good question. What am I looking for? I guess I could just make a new overlay, actually. Hold on. Hold on. We win these, chat, all right? Look, I'm going to do this so fast. This is going to be so fast. Uh, I just need to add in the correct uh, alert box thing. Other overlays. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put it to there. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, go. Okay, now, now copy it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huge, huge. I was going to do this before stream, but my ass woke up late. Um, and it. <clears throat> okay, I have an alert box here. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Put that, like, right, right there. Yeah. Preview, uh, copy the link. Cool, 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 cool. Uh huh, uh huh. Guy, I'm so good at this. I'm so good at this. Ooh, how am I supposed to? Okay, hold on. Switch over to the game real quick. And then I get rid of that overlay and I add a new overlay in. Right, right. Mm hmm. Uh, Kathdarian, thank you for the seven months of Prime Gaming. Appreciate that. Very kind of you. Uh,. <laughs> Man, no, uh, uh, okay, okay, okay. Sure, 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 sure. I put in the link. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. God, I'm so good at this. I'm so professional and so ready for stream. So professional and so ready for stream. Okay. Uh, and then, well, now I don't know if it works or not. Well, I can, I can emulate a follower event. Yeah, now does the correct thing. Huge. Massive. Okay. We're good. Yes. That's what I wanted. Woo. Okay. Okay. Cool. I'm ready now. I'm ready for stream now. Get rid of that music. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh, I need to turn the audio back on here. Cool. Yes. Are you ready? Uh, we'll be playing as Red Scales because uh, playing with anybody else is shooting yourself in the foot. Okay. Good old red scale here. We start with a five, five, five. Um, here's the deal though. I think they've locked the traits on the kobolds. Let's see. We're not gonna play with great conquerors. Run's gonna already be painful enough as it is. Yeah, they've definitely locked these because I've done this three times now and we get discipline, we get strict and cruel. So no more powerful mage shenanigans. We're gonna have to win without a powerful mage. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, we focus mill here because we're monstrous. That's what you always do. Uh, I still have a little bit of memory of what we need to do for the opening here, but let's see. 
Uh, Gawain and Nimscott are supposed to be friends now, so there's no need to rush. They're not friends, but they do have a truce. But if they're friends, that's, that's even worse, <laughs> actually. All right, uh, so let's go over our ruler again, 555, five, five. very good. 10 mil points a month. We could afford a uh, an advisor. And since the last time we played, we've had a bit of a buff to our nation. And that is that the Viswald trade node now feeds into the Dragon Coast instead of the other way around. So if we expand down into here, we can actually pull the trade up into our node, which is super nice. It's super nice that we can do that. Uh, so we can actually afford advisors. And we have a morale of armies guy. And that's going to be more useful than the fort defense when we're fighting blue scale. So we're going to go for the morale of armies. And let's see with our monstrous tribes. Then we'll go over ideas. So we're, let's just make the monstrous tribes as strong as possible. Uh, great autonomy for chieftains. Larger tribal hosts. Do I really care about neighbor raid? That can only happen every five years per fort. Pillaging capitals also gives one year worth of manpower. Not really. Well, nah, we'll do it. Why not? Then we will sell, seize the diet. The monsters want us to own something from blue scale. And the US manpower recovery speed and yearly prestige plus one. I do like that. Uh, game plan or review of changes. Uh, we haven't gone over much. It's just the, the main thing is that we can actually get money because the Vizwall node feeds into our node now. So we can actually like benefit from our expansions trade wise, which means we should have way more money than in past runs. Uh, yes. Also, hasn't the religion changed? It has. Okay. The dragon cult, we have minus 40% religious power, but 50% looting speed and available loot. And as Red Dragon, we start off with the Dragon Horde. Every kobold knows the tale of the mighty Red Dragon, whose avarice and greed created the biggest Dragon Horde ever known. His spirit watches over all of us, and his avarice is reflected in us. Contributing to our own hordes is for the followers of the Red Dragon more than duty. It is our mission to see them grow until our gods wake once more. We gain extra church power from horde donations. We get 10% goods produced, and we... Okay, that's just, that's it, that's it. And if we go for Diplo, oh my goodness. Unknown Aspect? What? Okay, this is way better. Way better. It's a dwarf, you can still run, but dwarf still arrives. <laughs> yes. The Tony Arms from Back Road, trade efficiency. Tech cost 2.5%. I want that so badly. I want that tech cost, like, right now. For sure. All right, let's go over ideas. 15% uh, manpower recovery speed plus two attrition for enemies. I don't think we're going to get through all this because we're going to flip over to Kobold Sand, so I don't really care about these. But 15% manpower recovery speed and plus two attrition for enemies is pretty good. Uh, we do have a mission tree. Claim on every single Kobold Coastal Province in Kanor. That's great. Green scale odds are dies to go ahead before we can get up there, but... We'll see. Are you friendly with anyone around here? That's not good. Okay, hopefully they don't ally Laurent. Is your attrition uncapped? No, it's not. It's not uncapped. Uh, we can choose rivals. I will rival Blue Scale. I will rival Nimscod. And I will rival... Hmm. Do I rival Riveria? They both start off threatened to Riveria, or hostile to Riveria. The question, no, no, I mean, I want to take their land is the thing. Like, I really want to take Reaver's Landing, because I'd like to get as much control over the Dragon Coast node as I can. Specifically, I want to own all these centers of trade to try and capitalize on this. Uh... I guess to Alien Tears of Interest, stay in Kanor. Oh, we are staying in Kanor. We are staying in Kanor. No colonizing, none of that shenanigans. We are, uh, we're staying here and we're fighting. We're fighting for what's ours. 
You're telling me that I can... I can hire... Whoa. That's different. That's definitely different. We can hire Tech 3 Mercs. That's insane. That's a five siege general. <laughs> that is a five siege general right there. Hold on. It was a merc with a plus 10, plus 10. No. I don't see a plus 10, plus 10. I do see a plus five though. Oh, are you talking about the short helms? 10% morale of armies and minus 10% uh, shock damage. I think these are all halflings. Yeah, yeah, they're all... The more lords aren't, but the other two are halflings, and that's why they're available. Yeah, and they're tech three. Okay, so do we want... 10% morale of armies and minus 10% shock damage received, or do we want 5% less morale of armies, but 5 siege pips? I mean, it's gotta be the siege pips. That's insane. That's just... That's nuts. That is that is crazy. Okay, make a save. <laughs> let's just make a, let's make a little save right here. Yeah, yeah. There you go, huh? just in case. Okay, uh, you move forward. Man, we're even gonna have money after that. So let's hire some advisors here. We'll be running a bit of a deficit, but I'm okay with that for all those monarch points. Uh, I thought Tech 3 and 1494 was enough to persuade you. You were done with kobolds. I'm never done with kobolds. I told you. I told you. I done did told you that we would return to this run, and I was not lying. That one day we would return, and we would succeed. All right. Uh, we got to get some, some intense music going. But yes, the goal of this run is to own all of Kenwar. I'm not sure about making it all kobold, but we are going to own all of Kenwar. We have Blue Scale and Nimscod first. Uh, Blue Scale into Nimscod into Riveria. That is the order of operations here. Plan just mission tree? No. The mission tree, I mean, the mission tree will help us, but uh, it will not carry us to where we need to go. Yep. Those mercs ugh, are no longer available for hire, but it doesn't matter because we already have them. <laughs> <laughs> now we just have to wait for this troop to be built and then we'll be good what is the plan uh don't die as always simply win simply win kobold conflict for centuries the dragon coast has been divided amongst the three great kobold tribes the red scales the blue scales and green scales we, however, are clearly the worthiest of the three tribes and must muster our forces in order to unite the Dragon Coast under our rightful rule. We gain claims on every single Kobold province. And for 25 years, I can get 10% shock damage. Do I want to fire that now? Probably not. I probably want to save that for when we fight, like, Gawed. Okay. Uh, we definitely do Monstrous Conquest here. Move in. Now remember, we're not taking everything in this war. We're gonna leave them in the caves. Because we wanna humiliate here. Okay, we want a naval battle. Unfortunately, we did not capture any. That's okay. If we can find a way to get to green scale, that would be really nice. I don't know if we're gonna be able to pull that off. Okay these provinces. Of course, we do have to be careful because they also have the same idea as we do. So, there is a hell of a lot of attrition to be taken here. Uh, so, we gotta be real careful about how quickly we run for. And I was assured that none of the mysteries of the Empire have changed. The Empire obviously include Gwen and the Dragon Coast as well as everything northward. Will we expand crazy? No, we will expand probably a little bit smarter. We may still do lots of wars, um, but it would be like to take money. Money humiliates things like that. Show strengths. Uh, I don't really need to recruit another general, so I'm not going to. Let's take a little bit of a, a hit here. 
Is there going to be a no CB minus three stab war? I sure hope not. I sure hope not. All right, he's got 14,000 troops here. He's got zero shock pips. Hmm, we're probably going to fire off that shock mission then. Okay, go ahead and scorch this. You get there on the 23rd. We get there on the 17th. We get there on the 24th. Uh, I need a general. Who wants to be a general? You need maneuver. Okay, that's the only thing. You have to have maneuver pips. Specifically, five of them. <laughs> uh, I need five maneuver pips. Anybody want it? Going once. Going twice. All right, looks like Nalnaz Emberclaw shall be our leader. And does have three maneuver. It gets there on the 24th still. I can't reasonably move in there and get a minus three. Hmm. Can't find a chemic, can't reclaim. Wait, what do you mean? Works for that. You get there on the 7th. I get there on the 10th. I'll take that fight. Because these two should be dead by the time they get there. No! That's okay. I didn't even take the mission. Well, I'm not taking it now. So this channel is offline? What? Hero Wars, channel points. But I am online. <laughs> Wait a second. Wait a second. That's weird. That is weird. Channel is offline, but I'm not offline. But but I'm not offline. I'm here. Is it pre-recorded? True. Pre-recorded, pre-recorded. Uh, well, this war has gone terribly, uh, considering everything. Uh, they have a zero shock general. We have a three shock general. You know what? We're going to take this mission. Control the red scale. The lands of the Red Scales in the south of the Dragon Coast contain by far the most fertile land in the region. If our people are to rise to become a true nation, it must be able to feed itself, and for that, the lands of the Red Scales are vital. 10% shock damage. They're getting a crossing penalty here. But we will, in fact, win the fight. Probably terminally online. <sighs> stop, 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 stop. <laughs> Ayo! <laughs> Hey, oh! Okay, just keep leaving troops behind so they can't build more. We have a cheaper trader that we could apparently hire. You go grab that. Nimscott declares war on green scale. I mean, that's not the worst person to do. Oh, never mind. They're dying to sell Maldor. Still, though, not the worst person that they could get annexed by. I think we're going to go back to our save. I think I... Well, hold on. Maybe not. Hold on. Wait a second. Wait a second. We win these. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Maybe we're still okay. You know what? I already have the restart counter on one. I might as well just restart. We're going back to the save. That war did not go well. We gon' die. We gon' we gon' die. We gon' die. F restarts one. We do have to change the font though. Uh, let's see here. What's a what's a good font for us today? What are we? <laughs> the 
Okay, that, that's terrible. <laughs> that is a horrendous font. <laughs> that is that is horrendous. <laughs> Why would you ever use that? <laughs> All right, well, sure, whatever. Uh, yeah, yep, yeah, that's fine. All that's worked out. We've already done all of our things. Good. Kindergarten fun. I don't even know if I'd call it that. It's just bad. It's just bad. That's what it is. Okay. Uh, build me another troop. So the problem was that they were able to get here faster than I was. When I retreat and come back in, even after scorching it. So maybe I need to go grab Kobold Zex. Zex, there's a Z there, by the way. Z for you weird people. Don't, don't be like that. Don't be like that. Got my eye on you. Uh, hey, Elefante, what are we doing today? Uh, starting as Red Scale, own all of Kanor. Yay! Uh, it's a run I tried to do a while ago and uh, failed. An easier one? Yeah, definitely an easier one. Not sure if we're going to go for like a one culture of Kanor here or what. I haven't quite made up my mind on that one. But we'll see. We'll see. Uh, Monstrous Conquest. Make your way into Kobold Zex, please. Time limit? Nope, no time limit. Uh, there's no achievement directly connected to it. Um, I'm not sure what achievements we could even get with it. I guess the accepting everybody one would be, like, technically possible. But the Haramari would have to jump to uh, Ambin cost. There we go. So we own this. Got 11k here now. Alright, group up. Would it be more strategically managed to take defensive owls and caves? It would be, yes. That that's the hope. That that is in fact the hope, the plan. But it is difficult when they can just sit in front of me in a cave, and there's not really much that I can do about that. Use boats to attack boats. Uh, we could try. We could try. I mean, preferably, I like to capture some of their light ships. Be a pretty big boon for us. Did that stack just walk through and skip entire province you stood on? Yeah, they were retreating. They were retreating. Okay, how long does it take to get here? Okay, seven days. How long does it take? What maneuver? You have two maneuver pips. We should be able to retreat here and get back in time. You get there on the first. We get there on the thirtieth. We also get there on the first. Well, damn. Do you think we go? Do you think we move before they do? Uh, invade Nimscod day one. Oh, you like the the Nimscod day one? Uh, that build for Northern Highlands, Deck and Gwed, abusing two fourths, kill their armies whenever they're alone sieging, will them down and win. Yeah. I don't really want to make our leader a general because they are a 555, and I really don't want them to die. Really don't want them to die. We move first, because red scale is better than blue scale. Red scale, better confirmed. Red scale, better confirmed. It's just science. It's just science. You could get a 666, though. I, true, I could get a 777, too. Uh -huh. Red goes faster. That's true. The 
Okay, how long are you going to make me chase you through these caves before I can wipe you? Why? Why, why did we move like that exactly? Hello? What are we doing here? Oh, I know what we're doing. We're wasting manpower. That's what we're doing. Oh my god. Bruh. Stop giving them month ticks. Just kill them. Just kill them. Just kill them. Damn. What the heck? <laughs> Please. We've got things to do. Damn. Like, do I know here, but then we kept getting the fucking Muntics. Uh, yeah, you know what? Go ahead and consolidate these guys. Move there, make sure they can't build another troop. Okay, you step onto there. Shift consolidate, move you onto here. We'll get a year's worth of manpower for sieging this down, which will be nice. <clears throat> kobolds again, we want new missions when you were done the past. Oh, true, all right. You know what, no kobolds today, guys. All right, sorry, I we've already played kobolds before, so I, I can't play them again. You heard it here, no kobolds for anyone. All right, you need to go repair. <clears throat> Play Dark Scale? Oh no, we can't play Dark Scale. We've played Dark Scale before. No, we can't do that. Not allowed. Apparently. You can play Green Scales. Yeah? You wanna play Green Scales? Cause that's what we end up like, playing Green Scales. We did manage to steal a boat. Unfortunately, it was a transport. Uh, you need to build another troop. There we go. Blue scales, I would like to take all this. Uh, yeah, you want me to take all that, but I don't want that. Wish pass. Yeah, I want to do a humiliate here, I think. Humiliate money war reps. <clears throat> Let me just come back later. Take that. 100% war score. <laughs> How are you today? I'm doing good. We're playing red scale. There we go. Instantly get our power projection up above 50. Start to core that up. And let's go fight the gnomes. Well, it's been a good run, boys. Thank you all for being here. Um, I'm glad that we've come together in this time. And looks like we're going back to 1444. Uh, Cause that ain't happening. That's not a war we're winning. <clears throat> Just deck them? Sure. Okay, now we're going back to 1444. Okay, well, I guess we will be attacking them Scott first then. <laughs> yeah. Guess we are we are not being given a choice. Not one bit. We just have to hope that they don't ally Gawed before the tick. Otherwise, uh, well, we're we're done zone. I'm afraid. There's only so much we can do. Dragon path. Yeah, I think we're going dragon path. Uh, hey, Polaris North Star. Hope you're doing well. Glad to see you here. Okay, go speed four. And if they just immediately ally Goed, well, I, I don't know what to tell you. No much past cooperation. Man, gnome buffs just being kobold debuffs. This is just this is just racist. Okay, I think we I, What are we what are we supposed to do? Are we actually supposed to fight Nimscod and Goed at the same time? Because they're just going to do this every time because they start with plus 200 relations. I think instead of Nimscod, I always ally Goed. Yeah, it, it's definitely... It's definitely... Play Gorbarad. That's how the Kobolds win. <laughs> Uh, we'll go back to, uh, regular 1444, like, full restart here. Um, 
But then we're, if that doesn't work, I I don't know how we're going to beat Nimscott and Goed. Especially because they locked it to where you can't get a War Wizard anymore. It's just kobold nerfs all day long. Confirmed confirmed. Ambinar devs hate kobolds. Real. Real truth. You heard it here first. Do slash integrate Nimscott. That would help. I'll give you that. That would definitely solve our problems. We literally do. Why? Why do you hate them? They're just little guys. They're just little guys. They haven't done anything wrong yet. Scalies ruin the kobolds for us. Okay, well, that's fair, I guess. <laughs> that, that's fair. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, do you need people think of them as animals, even though they can speak pretty well at that? Yeah. I've been sent so many kobold images. Why? Why do they send you those things? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? Just keep them to yourself. Do people on the internet are whack. Toy love scaling. No, no. I love scaling my economy. <clears throat> hey, Cost Lord, how you doing? <clears throat> DD Kobolds are freaking nightmares. I find the Viet Cong. It should be. That's how it should be. You should be scared of Kobolds. Damn, I mean, if this doesn't work, maybe we do just play green scale. <laughs> it can't be much worse, right? Can't be much worse. Uh, blue scale, Nims God, Reveria. Uh, yes, 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 yes. Sell, seize, support diet, sure. Are we larger than blue scale? You give me morale of armies? Uh, yeah, I can do that. Uh, Merc wise, <clears throat> we no longer have a five seize general. Big sad. But we do have the short helms here. Uh, have a two, three, two, two. We'll hire you on the border with the Gnomes. We will build another two troops back here. We will hire a Discipline Advisor and a Production Efficiency Advisor. <clears throat> yeah? What is the Cobalt gameplay? Try and survive. That's the goal. Focus Mill. Yeah. <clears throat> I think that's it. Keep our boats at home because they're not going to beat the gnomes. Don't rival Nimscod. That's not giving Goed a reason to ally them. Goed's not. That only works if, like, Goed is rival to me and the gnomes are rival to me. Then they may ally because of it, but. No, they ally because they have, like, a hell of a lot of relations with each other. Gnomish pass cooperation is plus 100. Wasn't the last time plus 200? Build galleys, ally Poland. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's the plan. Ally Poland. Poland will save us this day. Uh... Go ahead and scornfully insult you. Go ahead and throw down an embargo on you. And if it gets the ally, well, we're just dead, so it won't matter. There we go. We have a larger army now. Okay. Okay. We're good. Here we go. This is going to take a while, huh? Ooh. Uh, they're gonna kill my one stacks. No! Scammed. Actually scammed. Actually scammed. Actually full on scammed. Bro. Get to the 27th. I could. T what the fuck is that? What do you mean? 
Oh, I see how it is. I okay, okay. So, so kobolds can't have a powerful mage, but the fucking gnomes can have a powerful mage. Are you serious? What? That's insane. Well, we're just dead. It doesn't matter what we do. Like we barely win this fight. Oh, hold on. We win these. Hold on. We win these. Actually, hold on. This is this is ridiculous. Like we're restarting. Th that's stupid. Like, oh, what do you want me to do? He's just gonna group back up and then he's gonna kill me. And now, and now I have to go fight him because he has a war wizard, a seven siege war wizard. He's just gonna immediately get through my siege, my capital. Boro, the universe is telling me no. It's saying no. Should have allied blue scale? No, blue scale is food. This is this is ridiculous. This, I, uh, pff, uh, pff, pff. this is ridiculous. This is this is stupid. Scammed. Actually scammed this time. Bro. <laughs> A 0.5% chance to roll war wizard. <laughs> oh, God. The odds. The odds, bro. <laughs> Watch happen again? No, no, no. It's not possible. It's not I cannot believe, dude. War wizard? <laughs> Uh, <clears throat> what have I done to deserve this? Don't answer that question. It's just torture at this point. Like that, That's crazy. That is crazy. Fortunately, only beginning this stuff. Yeah, you say that until all of Kenor hates you and wants to join a coalition for taking two provinces. How about a nice, relaxing game of Lake Fed? <laughs> Yeah, real, real relaxing game of Lake Fed. And having a second time in a row, it's one in 40,000. You know, I'm hoping that I'm not getting that unlucky today, but we'll see. A war wizard. I didn't even check for a war wizard because I was like, no, there's, it's just not going to happen. It's just not going to happen. I mean, he's still, he's a tactical genius this time, but that's fine. I can live with a tactical genius. I can't live with the war wizard. And we have a five shock general this time. So we'll hire you. Focus. Here. Take that. Take that. Do I actually want to give them greater autonomy? I don't know if I do. Yeah, I do. I do. Offset all that. Sell. Seize. You want green skill to like me? Uh, we're gonna fail that one, but that's okay. Uh, rival Nymph's God, rival Blue Scale, rival Reveria. Move our troops over. Bring you guys there. Uh, build two more troops behind them. Uh, freaking focus mill. Hire a morale of armies guy. And, uh, sure. Missionary strength guy. Uh, are we gonna hee-hoo the gnomes? I didn't even think about that. Uh, he always gets tackled genius day zero. It's what he rolls in December. Wait, he re-rolls things? Man, maybe we should just play the gnomes. <laughs> maybe we should just play gnomes. It'd be much much simpler, much easier. Uh, you, I would like to score fleet insult for 10 power projection. Reveria, I'd like to issue an embargo. Please don't ally Gawed. He gets the third trait. Even though he's immortal, long lived, he gets a third trait. Once again, more gnomish bias. Nymph's God, where are you pirating? Red scale. 
red scale. He's immortal and has tactical genius. Oh, the third one rolled. So martial educator was the the one he got. Well, I can live with that too. As much as I would love to wait to declare this war, uh, I don't think we can. We can't risk him allying Gawed. Or Gawed. Just some Why do people say it is Gawed? Why do people do that? Boundary dispute? Oh, sure. Free claim. Uh, start to build a spy network up on blue scale. Take the island day one. Are you ready for this? We're going to take it anyways. Okay, well. That didn't work so well. It's fine. Alright, let's go and... How many troops do they have? 11, I mean, we kind of just have to send everybody on. Don't really have a choice. And we just kind of have to hope. Okay, he's about to land his troops. Okay, let's go fight him. We can pick off these 2k troops. Okay. Let's get a recovery tick here. I'd like to get it back up to max. Please. Let's move in. Sortie out. And not a wipe, but good enough. Chase these little... Do we have movement speed? Uh, no, but I think they have negative movement speed. Okay, that's a wipe. And that's a wipe. And... No more gnomes. Can I bait his navy? I am a master baiter. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> Funny. Funny sex joke. And all it cost was one light ship. Now we actually just have to hold the island. That's going to be the hard part. But it's fine. Movement speed from government? Um, oh, yeah, 20%. Look at that. Ooh, there's new ones. Ooh, look at that. Fancy. You get 20 government reform after winning a war against a non monstrous nation. More looting speed. National tax. Huge. <laughs> uh, gain four government reform after building a market, temple, or courthouse. Or tribal assimilation. Reform will increase the loss of monsterization points from demonstration events. Speeding up the process. Core creation cost 15% province war score cost? Hold on. What? Hold on. I know I said that we were going to get admin points, okay? I know that we said we were going to get admin points, but minus 15% province war score cost is pretty good. That's pretty good. Tech cost minus 5%. This reform will prevent all stab losses from demonstration. Ooh. I like that one. I like that one a lot. Okay, so now we just have to hope that he doesn't attack these troops. Okay, he's absolutely going to attack these troops. Yeah, you know what? What? So much for 20% movement speed. I don't want to scorch it, though. If I scorch it, then I can't get back to it. And we can't afford that. So we're just going to have to... Here, you know what? Go ahead and consolidate those troops. 
and hire the monstrous band. I'm gonna go over our force limit here by a bit, but it's it's actually cheaper than having the regular troops. Green scale is dead. Which vampires does Scott have? None. None, none, none. The good news is, is that all those fights gave me a ton of war score from battles. 38 from battles. Ooh, nice wall breach. Huge. Blue scale likes me less. And we get more trade power here. That's fine. Uh, I would like to build more boats. Yeah. More trade boats, please. Because I want to get, again, I want to control as much of the Dragon Coast as possible. We're going to play smart. Those reforms new? Uh, I haven't seen them yet, so I don't know how new they are, but they're definitely not old. <laughs> the hell you think? You're going to go land somewhere else? Really? Yeah? You sure about that? You sure about that? You sure about that? Okay. Well, there you go. We're now maxed out more score from battles, so that's nice. Uh, the peace deal we're looking for... Is this... I think my biggest concern... Oh... No, we can't... Okay, 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 okay. We can't peace out with Nymphscott immediately. Because we need to go fight Blue Scale so I can get a fort built up here before we peace out with Nymphscott. Otherwise, Gawed will just insta-deck us, and then we're dead. Once we were five-ish months ago, well, I, I like them. We're about to take a loan. I don't like that so much. We're now losing lots of money because of advisors, and we're not looting. Rippy-dippy. Okay. There we go. Uh, I mean, you're both right here. Let's go ahead and take this. A little bit of loot should uh, prevent a loan. I guess not. <sighs> That's just a number. It is. We'll, get, we'll pay it off through selling titles and uh, wars and stuff. Okay. How many troops do you have? 1k? Okay, okay, they're they're dead then. Bankruptcy before 1500? I mean, you can bankrupt before 1445. <laughs> if you're not a coward. Okay, so we know... We need to move into Kobold Zex first. Alright... Boats are being built. That's great. They're building a troop here. Let's stop them from building that troop. It's very annoying whenever they do that. Okay, so they just build it here. Fair enough, I guess. Fair enough. And honestly, we're just sitting waiting for taking war score with Nimscod, so I'm I'm okay doing this. Uh, you know what? Move up another spot? Like, if they're going to give it to us, we're going to take it. If they're going to give us the space, we're going to take the space. Alright, take care of this 1k stack. So what do I want from Nimscott? Obviously we want this. Dude, rip admin points. <laughs> uh, I mean... Oh, I can't core this stuff up here? Well, I could take this. So that, is, that is 621 admin points. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, we will piece out with blue scale first. Oh, so you can core the islands. I see. So you're saying go for like a full annex type deal here? That would be pretty baller. What is that curse font? What do you mean? You don't like our font? Well, is there something wrong with it? Oh, that's not the song I wanted. 
Mm, that's the other one. Okay, you're taken care of. Yeah, these loans are fine. We'll be able to pay them off. Why is it so expensive? Uh, because this is all an estate. So all this is an estate, which makes it super expensive to core. Because it's, I mean, it's not no development. Uh, also, do the gnomes have hostile core creation cost? I can't remember. They don't? No. Is it worth unstating the land for the half core? Hmm. It's not really something I ever thought about. Your full coin? Yeah, yeah, but that's that's in this state. That's a different state. So, of course, the average point spends when you used full court. I mean, yeah, that's true. And a lot of what we're taking here is... cores already of ours. Like, this only costs 40 admin points to take. 55 if we take this. No, I think we, I think we still want a full core. Right? I think we still want a full core. Though I see what you're saying. I do see what you're saying with it. Uh, yep. You go there. You want to send the, both the mercs under the siege? Torch this because they're gonna move back into us. Ooh, maybe they won't. Merchant defects. I get less trade power invisible, but more mercantilism. Or I get institution spread. Oh, give me that mercantilism. Huge. Massive mercantilism boost. Massive. We're getting close to being able to take tech after we peace out with these guys. Got to full core that fort. Yeah, being able to make that defensive immediately is pretty good. Mercantilism, 100% run? Uh, I thought you could full annex boost skills one more. I think we can, but I think I'd rather get the power projection from humiliating. Besides, if I take everything, it's a 207. Uh, no, that would be max money that we can take them. Selmaldor is attacking Nimskod. Well, rip. That sucks. So we're not going to be able to take these islands up here. Freaking Selmaldor thinks that they have a right to take it. Just keeping an eye here. Mm -hmm. Do we he who the gnomes? Yeah, it's either that or we accept them. There really, is no in between. In fact, if we accepted them, we could uh, core this up for a hell of a lot cheaper too. Easy vassalized? No, no. The gnomes would never be loyal, and I don't want to fight Sel Maldor. Gnome pops get production efficiency, right? Yeah, production efficiency and tax institution spread. Are we going to be forgiving kobolds? Be kind kobolds? Okay, we've taken their capital. I mean, sure, man. If that's the fight you want to take... I'll take it. I don't know how that wasn't a stack wipe, but it's fine. There it was. There's the stack wipe, and that's the end of that war. Okay. So do we want a full annex here, or do we want... I think in our power projection, up as high as we can is a good idea here. Simply because we are so far behind on tech already, since we start tech 2. Plus, I get all the money, too. Uh, 
Dragon Pass gets like 20% conversion strength. That's true. Don't do it. Get the gnomes first now. Yeah, I guess since I can't... Uh, since I can't grab these anyways. Really? Yeah, I don't have any I don't have any straights that I can click on to to take this. So we won't, we won't be able to take Nim Scott in this war, which is sad, but sucks to suck. Uh, we can take 235 ducats instead and war reps. Or we take no money. And we, we humiliate here, and then we full annex blue scale. Mr. Lines, I can't. Those are occupied by Sel Maldor. You gotta embrace any money for that. That's true. That's true. We'll humiliate blue scale. Where else to be a suspicious of the Goblin Nimscott? Nimscott will still be an OPM out here. I don't think Sel Maldor can core this right now. And like, money's money. Any little bit I can get is going to help. Like, what what else do I do with this 10%? I mean, I could ask them to divert their trade power, I guess. I could force them to end a rivalry so I can get prestige. I think I'd rather just get the money. I like money. Uh, then I can tell them to get rid of their claims in my land. That will give me a little bit more prestige as well. There we go. Now we can embrace feudalism and we can take tech three. I almost said tech four. <laughs> what a joke. Tech four. Funny. Funny guy. I'm a funny guy. Uh, pay off those loans immediately. And that's our peace deal here. Go ahead and build a fort here because we need to core this, which means I want to core it and this will do fine. Uh, you're going to write that down twice. All right, now we wait for Goed to attack us. Build a spy network on him. Supporting the independence of Sorn cost. Interesting. We're definitely going to look for an opportunity to go to war with Riveria here. Uh, but while they're allied to good old Gawed, that's not going to happen. Uh, we could drill our troops or we could just not pay for them. Create a save here? Sure, I'll create a save here. I have no problem being a coward. Let's get all our boats together. And let's protect trade. Sell crown land. I can't sell crown land for a couple months, but then I can, yes. Uh, not you. Leave someone on this fort, that way we can scorch it if Gawed does attack us. Not that we would survive at the moment, but hey, you know, it's worth a shot. It'd be worth a shot. Nims got at peace, by the way. Uh, good for them. They've got... We're, we are so boned, bro. We are so boned. How in the world are we going to win this one? If he goes to the north, we're in a lot of trouble. If he goes to the north, we are in a lot of trouble.
like that. Win, you mean survive. No, I mean win. No, no, I mean win. Either we dunk on them here and we take money and land or we're going back to the save. There is no in between. Um... Uh, <clears throat> Do, do, do. I think I missed uh, someone to something <laughs> like clockwork. Yes, yes, yes. I code on YouTube. You play that one so well and got got your RNG. It's all downhill from there. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay, he's got most of his troops here. I think we fight this stack early. How long? Too long. Too long. He's tech three as well. Like if we go in here and we fight this 12k. How many troops does he have? He has 38,000 troops. So he has split his army right now. Yeah, we go for this fight. Uh, not immediately. We gotta recover our morale. Let's not be dumb. Improve with the rent? That will do nothing. We're monstrous. We're monstrous. They'll just kill us. Hey, prepare for the storm! <laughs> Woohoo! Though we will face many a foe and unifying the coast, we will surely face an even larger one beyond it. A great storm is coming of humans, elves, halflings, and worse, gnomes. We must be ready for them. Much of development. Yay! If I go to stab one, I get national manpower. Uh, cool. I'm not stabbing up right now, but thank you. Sell titles. Mala... Malalvarax. You want me to culture convert something? What? Sure. It's a waste of points, but that's what you want. Okay, we need to go in on the next year tick. We all get there on the same day. Yep. Okay, Sally Forth. Uh, what is our combat looking like here? We have... Actually, we have more morale and more discipline than Gawed does. Not even a problem. What the f what is this, Goed? Huh? What is this? Now this is gonna be a problem. <laughs> There's a lot of dudes around here. Uh, but hey, if we just give them a path to go to this fort, they may take it. Do I want to take this fight? Not really, but it's a hills fight and they'll get a crossing penalty. Or is it meat beat? I don't know if it's... If they have two and I have two, do they not get the penalty? Half the armies are worthless. That's true. Exceed is beat. Do you think Westmores will join? Let me just walk away. Throw defensiveness onto our capital. Okay. I was hoping that he would uh, walk onto this fort. He did not. Okay. Wipe these halflings off the face of the planet. Uh, that Goed stack has no general. When do you leave? You leave on the 15th. I get there on the 16th. You get there on the 13th. Uh, go ahead and scorch this province so Goed can't follow in quickly. <laughs> bro, what the fuck? <laughs> Goed, what is... <laughs> what are you doing, bro? What are you doing? You're throwing! 
You're throwing so hard. Like, that's crazy. Um, I'll take the money. Westmore's is next up on the chopping block. Disagreeing advisor. Uh, I don't want my army reformer to die. Go and sally forth just to make sure. Uh, minor human landlords in Dre... Drexbea. By Bay Baia? I don't know. Are we going to accept humans this run? Ten years of autonomy. I'm just saying, though. 58 crowns is 58 crowns. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. 58 crowns is 58 crowns. Okay, well. Uh, go ahead. I don't know if this is quite going your way, bud. I see more halflings down here that I can beat up. Thank you. I <laughs> just... Oh, they got away. <laughs> no! How much vampire does Gawet have? Uh, 15,000. Okay. Those are wiped. I'd rather not take this fight if I don't have to. You get there on the 8th. No, even if we scorch, we have to fight. Even if we scorch, we have to fight. Okay, send them packing. Free kill on Westmore. Nimscod Separatist. Hopefully, go ahead and fight him and kills him for me. That would be best case scenario. You're gonna land. Okay. What do I want to take from this war? That is that is 5.3 inflation if I take max money. That's a lot of inflation. That's a lot. That's a lot. We definitely want war reps. Yeah, we know that eventually we're going to want... Uh, this state. The South Fort, you need it. Which South Fort? Which one? The one that has a border with Laurent? I do not want a border with Laurent. The one in the yellow country? In New Kabul? That's a farmlands fort. Oh, we probably want to break their alliance with Riveria so we can go do like a a war to take this stuff right here. Do you remember this one? Graymill? Eagle Crest? The other farmlands fort? I don't really need the farmlands fort. Ooh, if I take this, it gives me a center of trade. This node. Eagle Crest? Oh, you're talking about for the mission? I can take it like that. I mean, preferably. I mean, that'd be... That'd be great. <laughs> Who needs admin? <laughs> uh, I mean, we could do something like that. We'd have to get that much war score. Man, if only defensive war score wasn't capped for battles. Who you remember how Who Needs Admin ended last time? <laughs> it ended great. What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? Uh, we do need to go take care of these rebels at some point so we can continue to core it. Uh, let's go do that right now. Go clear them out. Man, rebels are gonna make me lose more than Gwet. I hate rebels, man. Have I ever t have I ever talked about how much I hate rebels in EU4? 
and how they do way too much damage. Have I mentioned that? No, tell us. Okay, uh, I think it's dumb how much damage rebels do. End of sentence. <laughs> Once <laughs> I did. Oh. <laughs> I mean, it's only a matter of time before Laurent decks Gawed here. Okay, let's recover. I want them to go onto this fort, if anything. Uh, you two place there are more rebels that pop up and conquer country. Oh, that's true. That's true. That's also my complaint, yes. Damn, can't believe Gawain finally occupied a province. Okay, I get there on the 28th. He gets there on the 5th. Did I read it wrong? Because, uh... I did, in fact, misread? Okay. Well, it, don't, it don't matter, but... Okay. Good to know. <laughs> I was like, wait a second. <laughs> it's not the fifth yet. What you mean? <laughs> what you mean? Uh, at some point, we do have to go and siege Gawed down. <laughs> that is an inevitability. Is an inevitability. And if this fort could get built, then we can go do that relatively easily. You know, you'd think that Gawed would just stop. <laughs> you'd think they'd just stop. Ooh, we can celebrate a festival. Oh, we have to unlock these? So what happens if I leverage the cult? Ooh, is this a good idea to do this during a war? Let's find out. Uh, Leverage the cult. Dragons are so cool, aren't they? <laughs> Uh, have you cat battles? Oh, yeah. We can get domestic trade power, or I can get yearly inflation reduction. Let's grab that yearly inflation reduction. Red Dragon Nimrith's Law. Wait, does it replace our current thing here? The first one decides the next, the two next ones. Oh, okay. You can hover over the first aspects. Domestic trade power. Oh, 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 I see. I see, I see, I see. I got you now. I got you. Makes sense. So I'll get both of them. Man, I want that white dragon aspect. Or sorry, purple dragon aspect. Tech cost? Mmm, beautiful. Okay, uh, well, in that case, let's go for uh, inflation reduction. So maybe take max money now. I don't know. I don't want to take that fight. Uh, do we take tech four here? <laughs> oh, go ahead. <laughs> Things have only gotten worse for you, bud. The kobolds have figured out how weapons work. <laughs> okay, let's go get an occupation. That has 0% fort defense, 12%, 12%. Uh, let's go after Eagle Crest. Uh, actually, let's protect this fort to make sure they don't instantly get it. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no, wait, wait. Go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. 
Cancel, 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 cancel. Uh, I haven't looked at this mod in a long time. Did get an update. Number of kobolds had this stuff. Uh, we are in the Bitbucket version at the moment. So we are in like work in progress stuff. Uh, we definitely want to convert this first. We definitely want to state it first. Then we want to convert it. And if I enforce religious unity here. It'll take 50 months. And I have a missionary strength guy too. Time to separate peace, guys. There's no separate peace. They're all vassals. He didn't call his allies in, which is why I'm going to hopefully get a free show. I want to do a show strength on Riveria, but I think it'd be better to take land. Go ahead, we'll warn you from attacking Riveria. That's a good point. Counterpoint. I can just beat them up for more money. If I don't break their lines, right? Do you always work hard? Do you read all the get updates? I I read nothing. I can't read. I just play the game. I can't read. <laughs> but no, I didn't read it. Uh, we could take Diplo Tech here. There's no reason to take it now. We could wait till we get like minus 15% from neighbor bonus. Not like there's a huge rush. Okay, you have the one siege general. We just send both our mercs out to the. Uh... Oh no, we can't do that because there's a fort there. Also a fort there and that dang, you tell me these forts are actually protecting things? What's up with that? Alright, go ahead. Well Ah, it's not a I can't put extra defensiveness on this fort, but we'll have to do. He's making his way back to me. Which I have to admit I, I don't appreciate. Do not appreciate that. Oh, wait for the Kaiju on the Far East? Yeah, that's still a ways away. Those of you played Skirkoki at some point, my best, best campaign. We have played Skirkoki in the past. Uh, you go munch munch. I played until I saw all of Kanor and then I just stopped because I didn't want to fight a coalition of all of Kanor. Um, but maybe at some point we'll go back to some Skirkoki. They're ogres. You play as the ogres in the far north uh, in the Forbidden Plains. And you get some shenanigans. That's the word I'll use. There's some shenanigans. Okay, go ahead. Got tech four, so he's moving in. That is rather unfortunate. They might actually get this siege before we get this siege, which would be super embarrassing for us. Super embarrassing for us. Mega embarrassing for us. Okay, there's Eagle Crest. You connect to the Kobold Army. Connect to the Kobold Army. These guys are out of uh, manpower, but I do want the five shock general still. So now we have to decide how greedy do we want to be? And also, why are you on medium? Any military strength. Yeah, and they're tech four now. Uh, the army of Eagle Crest. Is that a. No, it's not a Merc stack. I want to fight the Goetti or the Half -Leads. I don't want to fight Goed. But. Here's the thing. There's a 21% chance they get this siege. If they take that, it's going to give them probably like 30 war score or something. To be fair, I could build three more troops up. I 
Can't move here immediately. Okay, build three more troops, go up to our force limit. Okay, Gwed leaves on the 20th. I want to see what he does. Okay, once he's locked in, we're going to move here. Take that fight. Mm, this isn't necessarily the best fight I've ever taken. So it gets the job done. Full consolidate, consolidate, consolidate. I'm shocked that Laurent has not declared war yet. I'm not sure exactly what Laurent's waiting for. That's right. It's defensive in the hills. Like, we'll beat them. They did get that. Give them 10 war score. Okay. Then we need to get up and retake that as soon as possible. 20. We'll assault this if we can get a wall breach. Blue scale separatists. All right. Come on, Laurent. Declare the war. I I'm so confused. What are you waiting for, man? It's got. Okay. I need a wall breach here so I can assault, preferably. Preferably. No rush in fighting that. I'm not coring that. There's a wall breach. Okay. He's got 15,000 troops down here. 16,000 troops. Well, we can't just let him take this, so. <laughs> we gotta fight the rebels there. And that's fort will unsiege everything. How much do we want to greed? That's the question. How much do we want to greed? Uh, I could fire this monstrous rabble and hire this monstrous rabble. Oh, uh, we have to wait for their manpower to recover. Hmm. Yeah, we do have a lot of manpower. Because we've been using these mercs, so. These early mercs have been very nice. Got the Saiyan. Obviously, we're not going to get 100% war score. Okay. I mean, that is a lot of money. That is a lot of money. 930 ducats. That will obliterate Goed. Losing that much money right now. Three inflation? Yeah, but we're losing uh, 0 0.05 inflation naturally. And we could possibly try and get Advisor to lower it even more. Are you playing on very hard non mythical conquerors again? Non very hard non mythical conquerors? Yes, playing on non very hard non mythical conquerors. Tell us, Super Sergeant, just eating everyone outside. Uh, it just means you get to eat them. Easy. Can even buy it down. Yeah, we can just buy it down. <laughs> uh, let's take a look at our mission tree and see exactly what we need. I should probably get a border with Sel Muldor. They haven't allied Laurent in this run, so... Yeah, I'd have to take less money, though. But, like, we can convert money into... Government reform progress. Markets, temples. I mean, that's really good. That's really, really good. With 900 ducats, we can build like nine buildings.
which means we can get to tier three faster, which means we get the minus 5% tech cost. And maybe we just don't take Diplo tech until we get the minus 5% tech cost. <laughs> equals nine churches tax meta let's go i'd like to grab this center of trade was the conference staying the world a little bit longer uh well my mercs are very low on manpower goed has more troops than me and is equal tech um and they're all down here and that is a grasslands fort that i have to take a fight in yeah, we, we have max war scores from battle. We'll get a couple more war score from these getting unseaged. Just gain conquest against Sel Maldor. El Bozos, I guess. Taking war score wake weight in harass, yeah. But I can't let them take this siege back, because... Well, that would suck. But do we think we can win this? It's not scorched. We have a five shock general. Did he fire any, like, events to give him more morale than I'm missing? No. Can you attack the Northern Army? That's hills. We won't actually get a crossing penalty. We win. We win these. We win these. Oh, he doesn't even reinforce. We were worried for nothing. We were worried for nothing. He doesn't even reinforce. What a coward. Go ahead and scorch it. If Laurent could just, you know, do their thing, I'd appreciate it. Oh, and you're telling me that this fort now has a permanent 25% local defensiveness? Thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Okay, we're going to hit these 9k before the rest of Gwed's troops can get here. <laughs> they got scared. They got scared. Come on, Laurent. Declare the war, little guy. I believe in you. You can do it. Why, why, why did we start off so hot? And now we just can barely win these wars or these battles. I'm confused. Also confused why Laurent refuses to declare war, man. What are you doing? Hey, I done with the normal? No. Okay, we're gonna send both of you under the siege because your manpower is almost up. Okay, send all you there. Uh, buy down war exhaustion again. 30 day siege ticks versus 38 day siege ticks. We win these. We win these. Sack on the Eagle Crest? Yeah, I know. We're gonna hope that we win this siege race. You go there. 
and occupied. We're getting a call for peace now. Like, yeah, we're getting called for peace, but like, oh, he got a wall reach. Like, yeah, we're getting called for peace, but you're not letting me do this either. Imagine a seven percent siege win. Easy, easy claps. Okay, that was a disease outbreak. You're banned. <laughs> banned. There you go. You put yourself out there. How dare you? No, they're gonna get a seven percent siege. That's not how this is supposed to go down. That's not how this is supposed to go down. No, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> Deleted from existence. <laughs> You're dead. It's over. No! <laughs> Please! Give me the seat. Nice. 69%. Go, 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 go. I can't risk going in there without all my guys grouped up, though. That would be slip and slide. No! It's fine. Let me get it back in two ticks. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Cruelty of mercenaries. Uh, yeah, I don't care. Okay, that's seventy-four percent war score. And he still doesn't want to peace out. That's crazy to me. Okay, build five troops up. And delete the monstrous rabble. And then back up and wait for them. Because we need the troops from them. We need, like, actual troops. Uh, the other guy stays because he has five shock general, but monstrous rabble didn't. Can you sit in their capital? I can, but I don't think that will give me enough. I think we need to take something else. Westmore's capital is probably our best bet. Or even Pearview's capital. Just one of his subject provinces might be enough. First life on the oceans. Yeah, I mean, but we're, we're losing a lot of manpower from these fights now. I'd rather not take that. Okay, let's go after Pearview. Maybe we can find a solution to our problems. You go loot this. And yeah, just loot that. Uh, I want to take a little bit less money, and I want to break their alliance with Riveria. Yeah, that's... No. What? No. Uh-uh. Breaking their alliance with Riveria is not worth 400 crowns. That's crazy. That's insane. Nuh-uh. We just don't take this, then. <laughs> Thanks, Arboran, for the money. <laughs> You missed a war, maybe he'll be tired. Maybe, but I don't want to take that risk. Maybe, but I don't want to take that risk. We can get a 10 to 1 down here. Are you disloyal? No, you're not. His exhaustion? Like, his war exhaustion? He's at 5.7. Oh, we have max taking war score. Ooh. Debt? I... I mean, he might have debt. Nah, he doesn't. Good news, boys. We have an economy. <laughs> Great news. We have... Money. Uh, enforce religious unity. Start converting that. Siege of Pearview. That gets us to 
do we care if he joins us against Riveria? Why do you accept gnomes? I'm not accepting gnomes. What do you mean? Um. Your deck now breaks. No, that's not how that works. That's not how that works. The another thing to think about is if I do this and I can't core anything. If you join it, it is more money. That's. Uh, it's true. I mean, it's hard to argue against. Close to tech five, are we? Oh no, we don't get new units at tech five. Ah oh, man, ah oh, nuts. Ah oh, nuts. Okay, you go there. The rest of you move here. I'm so sad that these guys have no troops, but I cannot get rid of them. There's no reasonable world in which I just give away a five shock general, even if it is taking up my force limit. All right, well, fine. Keep your lines with Riveria. We're only minus 23 reasons away from a full peace deal. Can I be consolidated? No, then I don't have enough troops. Yeah, we should just go to his capital. I, I... I'm thinking that we just ignore these troops and make our way up to Gwetan. And then, if he doesn't go for 100% then, then, oh well. And oh well. No, we'd have to, we'd have to take more stuff. How many troops am I up against here? I mean, that's like everybody. So, we do a little carpet sieging. You could win the siege race? No. No, I ain't, I ain't betting on that one. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. You're not baiting me. No way. No way. This isn't giving us, like, any war score either. This is a truly sad day. Truly the worst of all days. Nope. I'd have to take another fort. I, I don't think it's worth staying in for. Oh, I could grab this. Nice six. That's pretty good. Now, does he join Riveria? He will join Riveria. Okay. Let's see, 30,000 troops. It sure did. Buy that down. Core all that up. Uh. We could hire more mercs. We should. Let's hire these. Got mythical problems at force to get mushrooms in your mission tree? No. No. Alright. Uh, we will go for monstrous conquest here. We'll go straight in. Even though we're coring things up. I know. I know. I'm, I'm well aware. Now our largest threat is Laurent. 
Uh, we do need to develop Renaissance in our capital. But I'm gonna take... Tech 5, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna take Tech 5. Objective of the campaign is to own all of Kanor starting as the Kobolds. Okay, Reveria has eight transports out. I've got seven light ships up here, so we don't have enough ships to contest that. Achievement in? No, it's not an achievement. It's just I want to do it. It's a run that we tried a long time ago and it didn't work out. But it'll work out this time. Uh, I could consider taking these troops back to contest this. Eh, they got a lot of dudes. Yeah, they got all their dudes over there. I mean, I'm fine with the Eagle Crest falling if I grab Reaver's Landing. That is that is a trade I'm willing to make. Control of Amber Armor 1571. No, no, it's not by 1571. I mean the entire Kanor continent, yes. The whole shebang. The whole thing. Deep Woods, Eskin, all of it. Uh, let's see, and you are tech four. Yeah, we're going to have to just let Eagle Crest fall, I think. Not a huge deal. I'm going to go ahead and get a general. Okay. Architectural visionary, huge. We're going to get so much reform progress if I have any money by the end of this war. Which we will, because when we peace out, go ahead. We're going to take max money again? <laughs> oh, I didn't need to take war reps from Gwad if he was going to join. But if he wouldn't have joined, then it wouldn't have mattered. Yeah, so we, we want to take this. Now, can I full annex you? Mm, yes. No. <laughs> no. Technically speaking, I would die. Um, well, hold on. Truce with Gawed. Truce with Lysayan. Truce with Nimsgod. Truce with Necklith. That leaves Sel Maldor and Laurent in Portnum. So actually, yeah, I could. And worst comes to worst, we just immediately deck uh, Portnum. Hey, he's a fall after the Druso? Okay, well, I'll hit you with this then. Uh, we. Are you ready for this? Attack the when the truce is up. <laughs> the rent will eat you, please no. Yeah, but like, I need the land anyways. Right? Like, I have to take this eventually for my mission tree. So, like, it, it has to be done. And if Loren attacks me, well, then Loren attacks me. Uh, they'll kill me. They're going to fight me either way, so I might as well just get something out of it. There's also a war wizard running around up here. Also, we might just win this siege race. <laughs> Unless I get a 7%. Okay. We need to stay Dragon Cult. Yeah, I think we stay Dragon Cult. Would love to get this siege, though. Would love to get this siege. My country's being sieged down at the moment, and I don't appreciate it. Okay. Uh, I don't think we need to scorch. Attached to the Red Scale Army. That's the Red Scale Army. Let's go relieve Eagle Crest. They do have a lot of troops here, but we're Tech 5, so we should be A-OK -okay to kick some ass. Okay, well, this was not the play. Yeah, that that was not the play. They're going to take my capital because they have a war wizard. Doesn't matter if I throw defense on this on it or not. I love war wizards. I love war wizards. That's right. We kill the war wizard. Get going. Bye-bye. See ya. 
wouldn't want to be uh uh go sneak that down you go wipe them here cool get all this unseaged tender rebels how dare you if we can get a wall breach then we can assault with our mercs this didn't take the fort true true but it did it was a massive hit to our uh war score from battles go ahead and throw a defensive edict on there various tech four Gwed's back up to 21,000 troops. I'm starting to regret having Gwed in here. Okay, I need this siege. Then we can go and contest this. But again, that war wizard, man. That war wizard. Let's hope we can get Necklif out of here in a reasonable amount of time. Twenty K troops with zero manpower. Yeah, but still twenty one thousand troops. That a war wizard can support. That's the big thing, is that there's a war wizard that can support them. Hopefully he fights my rebels. He does. Can we please get this man? I'm gonna be very sad if we lose Eagle Crest now. And we're gonna have to find a way to get through this war wizard to even get there. Our best place to probably go down and hit Reveria. Uh, I just gained Monstrous Conquest against Vertesk. Okay, that means that, that this peace seal might not work anymore. Nope, it won't, because Vertesk can see me. So we'll have to find a way around that. Fun. Fun, fun, fun. Uh, attach to the kobolds. Kobolds. Let's go contest this. Mannered. In pair view. Just farming war score off these guys. If you don't get this 21%, we could possibly follow up into here. War Wizard doesn't reinforce. Beautiful. I'm seeing 6k here that we can attack. Morale is a little low though, so we should get a morale reinforcement before we do anything else. You get there on the 15th? You get there on the 16th? Yeah, okay. Let's not be dumb. I'm seeing lots of small stacks down here, though. Uh, you know what? Let's go attack this 10k. Before the War Wizard can get back over here. Okay. Here, we're very stuck on their fort, which I don't mind. We're up to 23 war score from battles. Goed is on medium. Do I just go for Goed's capital here? We would lose Zedza Votora here, probably. Vassalize? No, we, we can't do vassalizations. Number one, uh, Kobolds have... Unless they've changed shit. Yeah, 10% liberty of desire desire and subjects. Um, we're monstrous. They hate us. Uh, they would never be loyal. And I'm not interested in that. Okay, let's go for Gwen's capital. Tis our best hope. It's our best hope. Grab this. I think we just send everybody on just because I am a well. 40,000 troops. Yeah, there's still a lot of troops. I don't know where they are. Minus 49 versus a minus 42 and a minus 64. You have 54 day siege ticks. We have 31 day siege ticks. Let's hope that we can simply do this in time. You know what? We reduce war exhaustion twice. That'll help out even no, three times. 
that's where all of our Diplo points are going, but oh well. I would like the siege ability. They now have minus 21 on this fort. And they got a wall breach. Alright, and we're going back. <laughs> and we're going back. And they broke it. Guess I should have left a dude on the siege. That blue scale is independent, yes. We will deal with them later. Actually, to be fair... Yeah, take care of those. Go back to the... Go back. Go back. We took money, war reps, and a humiliate off of uh, blue scale. Instead of full annexing. Alright. Now we just take their capital. Hopefully. As long as they don't get another wall breach. Or something. God, it sucks that there's a war wizard involved in this. The Saiyan is on medium war enthusiasm. Uh, I mean, if they were the war wizard, I'd go for them. But Necklift's all the way down here. So, doesn't really do much for me. They immediately get a wall breach here. God damn, dude. Get out. Go away. You are not welcome here. I'm going to take out these reinforcements first. There we go. Move in. Still have the five shot guy. But fighting against this war wizard is not... Not good for us. Not good for us. And they have a wall breach down here now. Uh, at least they broke that siege. Five piece possibly? No, I need the money, and I've spent all the money I got from Gwed fighting this war. And Laurent still has not declared war on anybody. Which is crazy. Like, bro, what are you doing? What are you waiting for? Do it. Do the declare. Ba -da! You know? Ba -da! Did you forget how to declare wars or something? I clicked on the sand and I thought, I'm at war with the rent now? <laughs> huh? What do you mean? <laughs> I'm not a war with the rent. They have a 7% here. They are sieging way faster than I am. They have gotten a wall breach on every single... See the fuck? Get the fuck out of here, Goet. You're demanding land? Are you insane? Are you insane? Okay, Goet is on low. I mean, that's nice, I guess. If this war wizard would just piss off. Oh, did they lose it? No. No, they did not. Okay, hit this Lysaean stack. Okay. We can choose a government reform. I think we go learning by doing. Poor government reform after building a market, temple, or courthouse. Okay, neck lifts out. Good. No more war wizard. War wizard officially gone day. Let's go to Lysaean's capital. Step on it. And that should get him out of the war. Okay. There we go. Now it's just Gawed left. Gawed, you are in no position to make demands. No stack wipe. Sad. Sad times. Sad times. Go kill various troops that are trying to land behind us. There we go. No way that's not a wipe. Oh. What? We maxed out on admin power? 
Huh? <laughs> That's possible? Uh, encourage development on our capital here. Expand. Uh, she develop on my renaissance till I get institution. Why not take tech? Uh... There you go. Happy. Now I don't have anything to core with. I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> I, I shouldn't have done that for the bit. That was not worth it. Not worth, not worth, not worth. It's fine. Okay, we need to go take this. A convenient time for 11,000 troops to rise up in my capital. Let's go deal with them. <laughs> and then we get through that province, and then we go take Goed's capital, and we take Max money, and we all go home happy. <laughs> Do that, attack. Pay taxes? Goed wants a white piece? Uh, no, sir. I don't think so. I know that they have minus 71% here, but they've been getting wall breaches on every single siege. So I would appreciate it if they stopped. If they just stopped doing that. Lower autonomy, build a new force limit. I'm at war, I cannot lower autonomy. But I will afterwards. Uh, yeah, I'll sell titles. Oh, damn. I can embrace institution. Fancy. I won't yet, but I could. Because if I do that now, they'll start taking loans. Since when you cannot lower our time during wars? Um, I don't know. Since I started playing. Oh, go ahead. Give me your money. I want your money. I want your money, 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 money. I'm not giving you a white piece, man. You can keep asking, but you're not going to get it. It's not going to happen. I just need to get this siege. We got a wall breach. Haha, <laughs> bozos. My turn. They did get a wall breach on most of these seizures, though, right? I'm not going like for like any kind of bias here. Uh, we need to build a spy network up on Nimskod to get a claim. We have a 230 air. We had a 230 air. Ain't no way. Ain't no way as kobolds you're gonna make me get a bad air. It's not happening. Our life is already miserable enough. <laughs> there we go. Uh, we need to go relieve our capital. Actually, just kidding. We need to go relieve our economy. Oh, I can't get there. No, my economy. <laughs> no. Please. Still chilling. By the way. Still chilling. Okay, now we go take Goed's capital. Ain't nothing gonna stop us. Hopefully. Well, I have three corruption. Hey, buy that down more. I did not realize we had three corruption. Why did nobody tell me that? Why did nobody tell me that? Okay. Get it. Get the capital. That's all we need, okay? Take the capital. No! I don't want to lose the stability. And there's my truce with Nims got over too. So I'm not going to be able to take everything here. <sighs> Damn it. 
So what do I do? Because like, if I don't take this stuff, Lorenz is just going to take it. Right? Take half and cry when Lorenz eats the other half. Yeah, see, that's what I, I don't want to happen. <laughs> just a little basil is better than the AE, but I still get the AE. Like, it's not like I avoid the AE by vassalizing them. Thanks for a task for the money. Like, I could try it. No, I can't improve my way out of it. Also, he's going to get this siege before I get this siege, and I'm very sad. Cool, let's go to technocracy. Uh, yeah, we're not going to go technocracy, though, probably. We're going to go religious kobolds. Because technocracy kobolds are better. Don't get me wrong. Um, but not quite what we're going for. Plus, they get hits to their admin efficiency, which I, if I want to take all of Kenor, I can't really afford. I just need to take the capital. <laughs> That's it. Well, we're literally just waiting for it. So switching back to which siege I'm looking for. Or the ammo fishing. I might be thinking of um, gnome stuff. This is a ridiculous series of sieges. Nice. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> come on. Just give me the siege. Please. Like, what are we doing? You're going to give their capital back to them before I get this. Oh, well. What? Well, we lost Reveria's capital. Not good. And taking their capital apparently was not enough for Goed? To peace out. For money. Which I have to admit, I'm a little confused about. But alright. Good occupations. It's barely any war score, though. What I need to do is flip flip the war score in my favor by a lot, so that way he gets the... I'm making gains. I am making the gains! Rah! I'm getting a call for peace. Yeah, I'm sure I am. Sure I am. Oh, frick it. Then I'll just go siege him down. Whatever. If that's the way that you want to play this, go ahead. Then that's the way we'll play it. I've got time. I ain't got nothing else to do, I guess. How are you at minus 84? How do I only have 15 war score on you? What is wrong with you? <sighs> Forts. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. I know why. I know why. I know why. I'm just complaining to complain. Um, I think we just have to take half money. Because we've got these rebels to deal with, and we have to re-siege this coastal fort again. 
Take more money. That's what I was taking. <laughs> That's what I was taking. And he didn't want to accept it. Okay, there's tech six. Attach, attach. We're now a great power. Our leader died, but we got a 5 3 3. I'll take it. Okay, I tell my war exhaustion. Like, all the way. And then, hopefully, we're at peace for a long time after this. Huge, actually. Patron of the Arts. Yes, please. Thank you for that tech cost and idea cost reduction. No, I haven't taken this time also. No, I'm hoping that after this war, we can chill for a while. Laurent may have different ideas, but I'm hoping we can chill for a while. But yeah, we already took Admin Tech 3. We were holding off on these because there was no reason to take them yet. There's the warning. <sighs> I love, I love, I love warning. I love being warned. I love being warned, bro. Being warned is the best. I love being warned by go away. I love the warning system. I love the warning system, bro. It's the best. I love the warning system so much. Uh, Send a troop here to unseat this. Who did it? Go ahead, did. Okay, we now have a claim on Nymph's God. I suppose that's nice. How many troops do they have? Four? Okay. <laughs> Once again, Reveria, I am asking you to give me your capital. I'm still trying to figure out if there's a way to get around this. Necklift truce. Gwed Truce. Lysaean Truce. I don't think there is. Yeah, like we can attack Nimsgod here before this war is over. And then we can attack Portnum right away. 30s of the ramp being raided coalition was scary. Yeah, but does it matter? Right? Like, if Laurent wants to go to war with me, they, they won't they, they won't join a coalition. They'll just deck me. So it's not really a huge deal. Can you make Reveria release a nation return course to Nimsgod? Uh, no, because Nimsgod doesn't have course. They have claims, but not course. It's the other way around. Reveria has course on Nimsgod at the start. Okay. Okay, no truce with Necklef, actually. Just kidding. No truce with the Saiyan is up in 67 as well. No, we can't do it. No, we'll die. Laurent, the Saiyan, Vertesk, Necklef, Zomal, nope, we can't do it. Damn it. All because of Stinky Gawed, too. Stinky Gawed. After my service in AE, 100% Spy Network. But the spy network only works on if you're building the spy network on a nation. So, like, I would need to have a spy network on Laurent already to make it like that. And I, well, clearly don't. Um... I mean, even here, I still have to insta-deck Portnum and Nimscott. The problem is... He still has more boats than I do, so I don't even know if I could beat him. And... 
And these Nimscot Rebels are about to get their independence, so I can't insta-deck Nimscot? Oh, boy. This is going to be tricky, then. Because, okay, I have a truce with Gawed, I have a truce with Reveria. Which leaves Laurent, Portnum, Nimscot, and Lysanne. We might just not take Elder Green, then. You aren't gonna take stuff for your missions? I know, but like I can't I can't get away with taking this stuff for my missions. Like I can't take Portnum here. I can't take that. My capital needs to be prosperous. We have corruption, we have war exhaustion, we're behind on tech, I'm running out of money. Manpower's doing good though. These rebels are 16 months away from enforcing their demands on me, and then my economy goes bye-bye. So we'll just have to do this. Uh, we can grab a Humiliate, I guess, and more reps. Money, and we'll figure out what can and can't work. Can I bait their navy into fighting my transports? I'd rather lose transports and get this unseaged. Okay, what if I pop this navy out? Okay, we won the Siege of Reaver's Landing. That's 99% war score. Okay. And that should be fine. Okay, go get that unseaged. And we can complete control of the pass. Though we have united much of the coast, our work is far from over. Our ancient rival in the Gnomish hierarchy still holds lands to our south in the so-called Gnomish Pass. If we are to secure our, for ourselves this cobalt state, we must expel the gnomes from the mainland once and for all. Permanent claim on Nimskod, Storm Isles, River Coast, and the Iokind areas. Now I have to own all this. Uh, our, our truce with Blue Scale is up too. But there's no rush to go kill Blue Scale. They're not going to do anything. Uh, we don't have board with the Ren. You know what? We're going to fire the Five Shock General. I know. I know. Why are you racist to kobolds? It's not cool. Upload failed for an unknown reason. Thank you. Well, uh, that didn't work. They did not appreciate me getting rid of that five shock general. Uh, you have to move Captain Case after you take out Blue Scale. Uh, it's after we form Kobold Zan. But I don't want to move my capital to the caves. <laughs> the cave capital's so bad. I'd rather have it in the farmlands. Even though it's not very good trade good, it's still a farmlands capital. How long are you straight for? I don't know, a while still. No bish agents at work crashing the game. That's right. That's right. They know that they were next. Almost 1 a.m. and last hour woke up upstairs neighbor. That can't be true. It's only 2.42 in the afternoon. <laughs> Can extra defensiveness? Uh, I mean, sure, but... Preferably, no one will ever be seizing my capital again <laughs> if things go well. Jahair was the legendary sun elf who liberated Bulwari peoples from their Noish conquerors and forged the Phoenix Empire. We need to remove devastation on the Dame's Propellants. Yeah, we gotta get rid of the devastation there. We, uh... We gotta build a fort on it. That way it stays with no devastation. We need to build a, a larger navy... So we can actually, like, I don't know, protect trade and stuff. Eventually, we'll want heavies, but for now, it's not worth the money. We wouldn't beat Lorenz Navy anyways. It won't work. Oh my god, we're all the way back here. Damn. Well, those troops are dead.
Wait, what were those troops? Did I build another? Oh, they were coming back from up here. Why did Riveria take their navy away? I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand. Yo no say. That guy on the siege. This time the game hopefully won't crash. New race the main theme. It is a new race, but yes. You can still play the old one. Dawn of Empire original mix, but this is the new one. It's in the bit bucket. Hydrate your computer, it's overheating. Mm -hmm. I hope not. <laughs> hope it's not overheating with EU4. The only time this PC has gotten really hot was when I was running like a Skyrim mod thing, which I still have to get those fonts <laughs> uploaded. Oops. Oopsies. Oopsies. Okay, we take this state. That's fine. No one really cares. We take max money. We humiliate. We take war reps and a little bit less money. Thank you. There we go. Go ahead and core that stuff up. Control the pass. Cancel those cores I just started. Because now they're cheaper. Red scale will grow larger. That's true. Make a save here in case the game's about to crash again. Okay. Fire that stack. Okay, another province has been converted to the true faith. I can rival Goed now. Uh, go ahead and enforce religious unity. Let's go ahead and lower autonomy. Sure. Uh, I could state this stuff up. Not going to for now, but I could. I can get rid of an embargo on Riveria, apparently. We're back to repairing that. Okay. You're here. You're out of manpower as well, the monstrous warriors? Damn. Everybody's out of manpower. That's fine. I will have them fight... 224 air. I don't want them to take over, but it's fine. Okay, we'll have these mercs fight that. Why am I still losing lots of money? Port maintenance, through now corruption. State maintenance is really high. Okay, get rid of that edict. That has enforced religious unity on it. Get rid of that Laurent has now warned us too. It's a good mechanic. It's a good mechanic. I'm, I'm not complaining though. I've complained enough today. I've reached my daily quota of complaints. No more. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Okay, now we now we chill. Laurent can't deck me. We have a truce with Gawed. Selmaldor is not going to deck me. I'd love to deck on Selmaldor, but I'm not allowed to. So we chill. We chill. Uh, we stop paying for our troops. Well, that doesn't make any difference. <laughs> Hold on a second. Uh, okay. All you do is make it so you can't warn if you have a truce. True. True. But no, no, I'm not complaining. Nope, nope, nope. No complaints from Poe Mew. Not today. I, I've reached my daily quota of complaints. Uh, we do have to figure out how to fix our economy here. Oh, sell seas is always a good start. I would like to build a barracks, but we should probably save up for this stuff. Uh, you know what? Fire our mill advisor. 
and hire these guys. Build a spy network on blue scale, I guess, for whenever we go to war with them, and we speed five, because we're chilling. We're chilling like a villain. Um, yeah, we just keep these mercs around to beat up rebels. We don't pay for these troops. State maintenance is still super high. There we go. Expand development here. No edict. Uh, I do want to stab up after we're done with our overextension problems. All of our overextension problems, I should say. Yay, money! And then we'll just declare on Goed. Uh, on cooldown. To beat them up for cash. Yes. Well, actually, did we decrease autonomy? Yeah, yeah, we did. But that was after the uh, the crash. Troll refugees from Bjarnrik into our capital. They give, like, hostile movement time, right? Or something like that. Do we let the trolls in? I think we do. We're going to make them give me money first. Then we might over time accept them more. But I want the money. Attack the elves of the north? Oh, I can't. I'm warned by Gawed. Warned by Gawed. If the rent and Gawed ever, you know, fight, then maybe. Holy shit, you just got absolutely obliterated. Obliterated by those rebels. Get rolled. Wow. Thought zealots just be hitting different, I guess. What in the world? Damn. That's what I gotta say about that. 420, haha. -ha, nice. Funny weed number. Uh, build five more troops up. There's no reason to be sitting at our limit here. Um. I mean, I guess we choose A. I don't think any of the other ones are going to help. Build some Navy. I am waiting to build buildings with tech. Because that will give us reform progress. Well. Share it, actually. I did say I wanted to build a navy, so I'm gonna do it. I never build I never build enough trade ships, so I'm gonna do it just so I force myself to do it. This woods fort down here, which isn't necessarily the greatest of forts, because we can't really relieve it, but we'll keep it for now. Yep, you just deal with all that. Uh, we can summon a diet. You want me to take this? Will he accept a threat in war? Because that would be pretty legit. He will. Ta da! They want the whole thing. Yeah, they want the whole thing. That's okay. We have time. I'm fine doing it bit by bit. Bit by bit. Uh, yeah, I don't care about losing Navy tradition. Okay, put up 5,000 more troops. Income's looking all right. Trade income is looking fine-ish. Ish. We good to stab up now? Yes, I'm going to. We need to start building prosperity. Need to start building prosperity. All right, get the last thought province out of here. Uh, is trade better in this version of building? Yes, it is. Well, for us. 
Viswal comes into the Dragon Coast instead of the opposite. So we actually get to pull trade from here, which is an extra 1.04 ducats a month that we're making. Uh, I was going to say, is there any reason to take this? But I think just not having as bad of corruption gain is probably worth it. So we'll grab Diplotech. And I do fully plan on staying here and chilling. Uh, well, that plan is actually not going to work because I need to deck Gawed in one year. Oh, actually I don't. I don't have to do anything. I don't have to do that. Should at the very least half state these. This too. Not full state because we need to take tech, but I will half state. Like I can go deck a wed for money. Laurent won't join. I would have to fight Riveria and Vertesk. Hmm. I can point eight a month. The thing is, we don't have. When we have Tech Six advantage. Are good allied? No, they're just uh, they're both warding me. So if I declare on the other one, it says that they'll defend, but they won't actually defend. We're, we're all right. Uh, I do want to develop with our mill points here. It'd be nice to wait for prosperity. Actually, you want to encourage development here. Get that to level 10. That way we can upgrade the center of trade when the time comes. Nimscod has embraced institution. I would love to kill Nimscod here. Missionary falls ill. That's fine. Okay, so there's our truce with Gawed up. We get so much manpower a month, though. Combat width is currently 24, so 27,000 troops will do. Wed announces me as a rival. Yeah. Issue embargo. Issue embargo. War of honor. <laughs> also, Laurent has a still wax on their throne. Babbling buffoon, huh? I do think we just do a monstrous. Yeah, if we do a monstrous conquest, then it's just war score from battles. We just beat them up in battles on our forts, and then we peace out for money and war reps, right? Sounds good to me. And who knows? Maybe they fight my rebels too. All right, well, here we go. Uh, mission fulfilled, brave the storm. Stab at least one at war with religious enemies. For 25 years, we get 15% national manpower. This is it, across the continent, armies have long rallied to remove the Dragon Coast from Kobold rule. We must rally the troops, prepare the weapons, and batter down the hatches, for surely the storm is here. What's going on? I gotta wait for six hours to actually respect sleep. Please schedule enough to enforce these six hours of sleep. Yes, go get some sleep. Thanks for hanging out. Hope you have a good one. A better one than the various troops are about to have. Uh, I do need a new general, though. That is much better. Yep, nope, four war score. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go and fight the navy here. Because unless he somehow was pulled heavies out of his ass, we should be good. We should win. Yep, unfortunately, we did not uh, steal any boats, but that's okay. Uh, you know what? Actually, we um, we might be able to get uh, Riveria out of this war fast. It would be nice. I don't really care if they're sieging this stuff down. 
So we split you up. We send two there, one there, one there, one there. I don't know if they would immediately accept the peace deal. Uh, yeah, give me that mercantilism. I actually kind of want it. Diplomatic approach gives me diplo points. Thank you. I want them to walk into my forts. Uh, we need to replace this fort with one on Leoro Zildak because this fort sucks. It's a grasslands. Uh, if I take Reveria's capital, then I get more money. But it's a level three fort. So I'm not sure. That's what I want. Rhodes or Moon Party? I mean, look, I would never side with the Laurentish willingly. All right, I'm just going to leave it there. Yeah, I also agree. It's not worth the time. We'll take the war ups. We'll take a little bit of cash. Peace them out. Go ahead and throw a defensive edict down. We can hire a foreign drill instructor. 2% armed professionalism for 48 crowns. Uh, we're going to have to decline because I don't want to take a loan for that. Human minister. I will take a cheaper advisor though. Huh? Wait a second. <laughs> Wait a second. That's not a human. <laughs> what do you mean? That's that's very clearly a kobold. You can't trick me. I see the truth. That's just a kobold. What do you mean? Okay, we're tech six. So, I mean, so are you. Uh, boys, we might be in more trouble than I thought. They have a war wizard. Of course they do. Why Why would they not have a war wizard? I guess is the first question. Who has it? Sorry, we just gotta wait for them to spread out again. Take this fight. No one's here to back them up. Good. There's five war score. Cruel tactician. 10% morale damage. That'll come in handy. We do need to recover our troops, though. So we're just going to chill. Could sell titles here, but I don't really want to. Uh, I will take admin tech, though. Don't really want to take tech seven early. Don't have to. Green scale separatist, let's go. Huge. I would love it to green scale became independent. There's too many guys on this fort. It's such a bad fort, man. Okay, two siege chicks and it'll be ours again. So that's okay. We'll probably go for money instead. It'll be easy, they said. Ah, it is easy. Don't you even worry about it. Don't you even worry about it. We're fine. We're fine. No need to be dramatic. Uh, we will... That is too long. We'll have to full state it before we can convert it. That is Marsh. You get there on the 8th. I can get there on the 7th. Okay, coward. Uh, let's go down here. How are we doing on our, like, religious power, man? 
Yeah, our religious unity is really slowing it down. A lot of dudes over here, but if they're all... They're mostly Gawed troops, which are tech 5. So I'll take this fight. Especially if they split up. Yes, sir. I'm not sure that's not a stack wipe. Oh, okay. He's fine. What the heck? Oh, he's murking up. He's murking up. He's going for it, man. He's like, yeah, we win these. He's feeling it. Go here. Scorch it. You all leave on the 13th, 17th. I get there on the 18th, which means this Merc stack is dead. Don't hire Mercs against me. Come on. What are you thinking? All right, we have taken war score now. I'm looking for money, war reps, and then peace. Okay, you leave on the 6th. I arrive on the 10th. That's those troops dead. Snipe them. Let's go deal with these ones. Okay. Or they'll just run away. That works too. Pull mission tree? Uh, yeah. Mostly get money, throw money in hole. But I don't plan on throwing money in hole. At least not yet. Actually, do we even have that decision anymore? Yeah. We do. War score from battles is 28 currently. Uh, you know what? Get this province siege down. Fill a hole? Yeah, you fill a hole with gold. With gold. So it's not like super heresy. It's only partially heresy. Vertesk fights my rebels. Huge. Thank you, Vertesk. Good guy, Vertesk. Ayo, you're getting kind of close. Ayo, you're getting kind of close to me. I don't like it. <laughs> Go away. Let me just loot the halflings in peace. Come on. Nuts. Why are you so mean? Just let me loot the halflings. Man. Ain't nobody can appreciate a good looting anymore. You know, back in my day, we used to loot all the time. Get him. Get him. Get him. Oh, they're tech six now. I could, I could see the difference. We win these? Wh how? How do they stay around that long? What kind of BS is that? What do you mean? How long do they get to just stay in fights even though they have no morale left? What do you mean? Scammed. Once again, scammed. Always scammed. Vertesk's? I'm going to Vertesk's capital. Fuck this, I'm out of here. <laughs> I'm getting Vertesk out of this war. Stupid war wizards, man. Everybody gets war wizards except the kobolds. It's fine. Ain't no way. Okay, well, at least they didn't stop the other fight. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you like this? Why why are you like this? Why does everybody get war wizards but me, bro? Did you hire more mercs? You did. Piss off. Oh, I threw. I I threw here. Yeah, okay. That was that was bad. That was bad. That was really bad. I got too distracted by the mercs. Uh, hey, DVA King. Red Skull Depressing without buffs? Like, bro, come on. The friggin' the first run, Nimscott got War Wizard, Vertes gets War Wizard. Surprised Gawed doesn't have a War Wizard yet. Okay, there goes those troops. Very good, very good. I need to recover. I need to recover, Kobolds. 
Are you a war wizard? No. <laughs> no, you're not a war wizard either. What the heck? Uh, take the diplo tech for sure. And then... Do I take the mill tech for the inno here or do I just do more development? I kind of want to do more development, but I kind of want to take the inno. We'll take it after the year tech. How about that? Like, I mean, no, we're doing fine. Like, we're doing fine. But uh, it just sucks that everybody's getting war wizards because that does hurt a lot. It's even a bad war wizard, but it doesn't matter if it's a bad war wizard or not. Did I full consolidate my troops instead of partial consolidate? I sure did. I'm so smart. I'm so smart. Okay, that should get Vertesk out of the war. Get going. Uh, I don't care about better relations. Red scale moon. Oh, this is an event where like we find a, a conquest thing. I will take the mill power. And we can choose a new festival. Uh, which means we can get domestic trade power 15%. Huge. Can we go fight here? Are we max war score from battles? Not even close. I wonder why. <laughs> I wonder who did that. Uh, Alright, take the tech. Get the NO. Enables cannons as well. Which means that our, our time of having a good time is about to come to an end. Because people are going to have cannons. Which means they're just going to barrage every single wall. Even though, to be fair, they have gone wall breaches most of the time this run. So... Not really much would be different. Why is this 29 war score? Am I crazy? Why is it so expensive? <laughs> Monstrous CB discount? Oh, yeah, there it is. 75% cheaper for monetary reparations. All right, there you go. There you go. Uh, okay, well... Greed is good. I mean, I would like to take this. I can take this. And I need this state. So yeah, let's do that. I know it's... I know, I know, I know. Just one more province. Blah, 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 blah. But... We do need this, and it gives us a better uh, potential fort in Okamorza here, this marsh, that we can actually use as, well, no, I guess it'd be Whispermire. There's a better fort up here that we can use, so we're going to do that. Money, war ups, thank you very much. Okay, you go up there. You core up things that take over extension, even though we have war exhaustion, it's fine. Thank you, Gwen, for your money. Green scale separatists might actually break independent. What? How? Go to 10 transports. Uh, let's go ahead and build a temple in our capital. And where else are there? Oh, in trader. Okay. Once we take this, then we will build a marketplace here. That will give us four government, uh, 
for reform progress for a building, which is nice. Uh, if green scale does go independent, we are insta decking them. And right now, I mean, we could deck sell Maldor, but like, if green scale is going to become independent, then why would I? Why would I waste my time? You know. Convert that. Turn that edict off. Uh, we don't need this edict on anymore. Okay. Wow, nine ducats a month. Gwen must have taken a loan. Uh, we can revoke crown land when we have no rebels. Yeah, well. Well. Shoot dang. <laughs> That's going to be complicated. Or you're going to X Targaru. That's fine. That's fine. Leave 2,000 troops up here to get transported. Send our transports up. Troll refugees from Selmaldor. Uh, ooh, they're going to give autonomy in our Damesteer province, which I don't appreciate. But let's start getting our tolerance of them up. Green scale independence? I'm hoping. I'm hoping for green scale independence. That'd make my life way easier, let me tell you what. Also, we can go to war with these guys whenever we want. Uh, when is this done by? I get 50 admin power for doing this war. So, after we fight these rebels, I think we go to war with blue scale and take the rest of their land. It'll also help secure the rest of the trade power on the coast. They don't have much, but it'll help. Nimscot is 8%. Okay, we need to kill Nimscot then. Yeah. Once the rest of our who's ready, I want to try and fire reforms. So let's try and get an inflation guy here. I don't want to spend too much money on it, but enough. Okay, you land there. You also get a marketplace. You walk to there. Uh, we can get a value cannon, I guess. We're being real bold by not building up to our force limit, by the way. Real bold. Oh, I should have cell seized. Well. Blue scale, I'll be back for you later. <laughs> I'll be back for you later, blue scale. I'm busy. Go, 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 go. I'm not sure why I saw Maldor. Maybe their troops got stuck somewhere. I don't know, but I'm not complaining. Uh, send one troop there. You go fight them here. We're actually going to get all Kobo land, boys. This is the run, I think. <laughs> it's free real estate. It's free real estate. Uh, leave minimum amount of guys there that we need because boy oh boy I don't want to lose any more to attrition than we have to I do want to build a barracks in my capital I mean I want to build more stuff for the for you know you know what I'm talking about for the reform, government reform progress. But first, I think I want to upgrade these centers of trade. Oh, no, actually, I want to pay my loans off. Yeah, after this war, I think we upgrade both these centers of trade. It's unfortunate that our, this is a... Uh, coastal. We might want to get this one to level 3 eventually. That way we can have manpower here. Make this a really good manpower state. Till Gwed attacks. Now he's kicked Gwed's ass again. Uh, until they get lots of cannons. Then we will be in trouble. But until then, we'll be fine. Uh, I think this is where we're going to want to build the fort because then it protects the entrance into here and protects most of these provinces. 
Then maybe we build another fort here on Idin Ivrip. Something like that. The largest threat would be Laurent attacking, but considering that we don't have a border yet, uh, they won't do that. Yet. <laughs> yet being the keyword. Okay, you separate out. You go protect my trade. Stay here. Missionary falls ill. Yeah, give him assistance. Keep converting. Attrition. We really do need to just kind of chill and catch up on tech. And I stopped looking for you. Instant radical reforms. Boom! Eh? Eh? No. Okay. Uh, you can't get instant radical reforms every time. Let's go do it with the blue scales. There's our truce with Reveria up. Not that I can do anything with that, because I'm warned by Laurent, so if I deck here. Oh, you broke your alliance with Gawed. Ooh, hey, look who's finally fighting. Good news. Laurent and Gawed are fighting. Bad news. Bad news. Uh, Laurent and Gawed are fighting. <laughs> Which means Laurent may come to say hello sooner than I was hoping. Good news is, though, we keep an eye here. Laurent may say no to joining. Uh, control the green scales. The lands of the green scales, isolated from the rest of the kobold lands by the Sea of Broken Ice, is of vital importance to any unified kobold state, commanding the trade routes between Gerudia and Lensinor. If we are to create a prosperous state, its lands must be ours. Current claim on Westmore proper area, which we already own, 10% morale of navies, and for 25 years. And connection to the Dragon Coast, we own the Westmore proper area. The Mormon have long made forays into the Dragon Coast, splitting our people between those in the Dragon Coast proper and the Green Scales in the north. In order to secure the connection between the two sides, these swampmen must be brought to heel. That's 10% movement speed for 25 years. We'll save that. You built a fort here? Honestly, that's really smart. Uh, I can't even be that mad. That's really smart. not going to save you, but it is really smart. Uh, no, I don't want them walking through my lands. Come on, go ahead. Fight back. I know that I put you into lots of debt and hurt you a lot, but you win these. Uh, send two more guys there, just so if they do attack, they're at least even in numbers. There we go, they're backing up. <laughs> Anti-Kobold Kobold Fort! <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Okay, now we're losing two ducats a month. I mean... Yeah. Is what it is. Is what it is. Hey, guess who forgot to upload upgrade the Centers of Trade? This guy! <laughs> Here comes the rent. Knock, knock, knocking on our door. That's true. Uh, delete this fort. Do we want to build another fort out here somewhere? You'd be a target. Yeah, I think we do. But that's a bad form. Uh, I also, I don't want to attack Laurent. I want Laurent to attack me because they're less likely to call in... Well, I was going to say Wex, but they're no longer allied to Wex. I guess it's the Ruby Hold. All right, getting a fort built there. We have one there, have one there, have one there. I need to build another one here. Well, so much for upgrading our centers of trade. But having defense is more important. We can always mothball this fort while we're peace here. We also need our capital to be prosperous. That's another reason why I don't want to necessarily go to War with Laurent right now. Not that they'll give me a choice, but I don't want to because I need prosperity in my capital. And if we go to war with them, their navy will beat mine. So I won't be able to, uh, to do much about it. 
four there and four there. Move into the cave slowly but surely. Blue scale separatists. The fort will prevent them from getting any more unrest. Separatism, so I don't really care. So you move back here. Then once this is taken, which we can take even more troops off of those because they are safe. No reason to take that attrition. We are apparently making money from loot. That tracks. Rents at 49 reasons. I do want Gawed to like go all in here and try and stop the rent. Be nice considering our truce with Gawed is up in 87 in five years. It could be that Laurent just keeps beating the hell out of Goed. They fight for five years. I jump in. I get, you know, enough war score to get max money and war reps, and we walk away again. Uh, we're getting rid of that air. They're not good enough. Uh, how's Dimscott's victory? I play the gnomes. Uh, I like the gnomes. I like to play into gnomes. All right. Sorry, blue scale. Nothing personal, kid. Uh, I do need to stab up twice, I think. Is that what it is? Yeah. Damn, it's expensive. It's alright. It's alright. It's gotta be done. Will the rent still defend Riveria? Uh, I just checked a moment ago and they would, yes. Get your cores on me. Thank you. Now we can complete control the blue scale. The lands of the blue scales holding the vast mountains of the Dragon Coast are of vital economic, cultural, and religious significance. Commanding the ancient home of both kobold people and our divine ruler, the dragon follower Malieth, the mountains must be brought under our control. Last 10% shock damage received for 25 years. And unify the clans. It is done. All the lands of the kobold people, so long divided, have been united under our rule. However, many of our fellow kobolds see us not as unifiers, but as conquerors. We must show them that we are not red, nor green, nor blue. We must unify the clans, and in doing so, unify the people. 15 prestige, 100 admin points, and for 50 years, we get 10% national manpower and plus 2 tolerance of the true faith. Which means that we can now afford to core most of this. And we get an additional 50 admin points for completing the uh, advisor thing. You want me to run a military advisor and not run a deficit? Well, considering Gawed just took a hell of a lot of loans and we're making 74 ducats in one month. I guess it's also from Spoils of War. Then I can immediately complete that. <laughs> cool. And we're back to losing money again, but not much. Uh, we are about to max out on mill points, so we will encourage development here. Don't know why you're so devastated. But I will do some mill dev in all these provinces as much as I can. Uh, who's the next person to rise up? Regent Court Zealots? Yeah, we can't be having that. Uh, yes, we do get a formable. Um... Here, we have to be admin tech seven though. Admin tech seven is necessary. And our next war will be against Nimscod, which we should probably do right now. Uh, tier three, tribal religion. Reform will prevent all stability losses from demonstration events. Also gets minus 5% tech cost. Forced evolution, reform will increase the loss of monsterization points from demonstration events, speeding up the process, which gives us reform progress growth, or hold fast to the old ways, which gives us minus 5% core creation cost and minus 15% of how much war score cost. I mean, we don't want the last one. Do we want to demonstrate faster, or do I want to not lose any stability while demonstrating and get more tech? I really like the idea of not losing stab when demonstrizing. You lose so much stab. So much stab. Oh, Evan, that's a good point. And it's minus 5% tech cost, which stacks with our 
leader having minus 5% tech cost as well. So if we go for that. What's the next one? Fort defense and max hostile attrition? Land fire... Land leader fire and shock? Early naval focus! Oh, no marines? Boo. Boo. No marines. What's the point? You know, what's the point? Alright, we deal with these rebels. Actually, I don't need everybody to deal with the rebels. You go over here. We'll hire another general. You go there and you go there. I'm not asking for drones because for some reason it's not working today and I don't know why. Okay, and let's declare on Nymphs God. We do need to own their land. There we go. Uh, yeah, we can upgrade a trade center when we're not at war again. <laughs> huge, huge Poimu place. He's at 42. He's really wanting to defend. Uh, when does the warning expire? Eighty-seven. Okay. Uh, next rebels are going to be Nymphs God. They're going to be right here. Let's go prepare. Uh, take Diplotech. Yes, that is one thing that we're no longer gaining corruption from, which is going to help us make a little bit of money. Uh, plus, when we get to Tech Six, we can start stealing maps. If I really wanted to do that, I, I don't think I do. But if I did, we could. <laughs> We could. It's possible. Uh, also, switch over to admin focus instead of mill focus. We're pretty late on switching over, but that's okay. So we got through our mill techs. Did what we needed to do. You're almost prosperous. Ooh, we sacked Nymphs God. Uh, Sure. I do want to fight their navy because we might be able to steal a couple of transports. Or not transports. Um, trade ships. Ooh. Okay. Uh, we have rural infrastructure, productive infrastructure, or urban infrastructure. I mean, it's fish. <laughs> We get more sailors. Let's go. We're actually the production leader of the world for fish right now. Are we? That's not true. That's just telling me what it is, right? No, we are. We, we produce 4.5% of all the world's fish. <laughs> Yo, we're so good at fishing. We're so good at fishing. And we're one of the highest market shares of wool, too. Fish. Fish, 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 fish. All right, well, you know what? Let's uh, let's keep that fish production going, shall we? And there we go. There's Nymphs God. Take the province. Yeah, some people kind of care. It don't matter. There we go. It's going to be very expensive to core. We now we need to fight Selmaldor next. Because we need to own these two islands. We could probably beat them right now. Keep protecting trade. Excellent year. Look at that. We've got 78% control of our home node. And when I upgrade this, because I remembered, then it will be even better okay we can convert more stuff uh, the only problem is I then have to full state it if I want to convert it hmm. and that's expensive so we'll hold off on that for a moment here so we can for these. I'm also still still waiting to see what goes down here. 
Like, Gawed is losing, but Laurent is not doing great. Yep, Nim's God Rebels spawn on the island. It's going to hit our manpower pretty hard, but we will win. And then back over. All right. We're at our governing capacity as well. When Cell sees. Upgrade another center of trade. Awesome. Where's our next rebels? Revarian Separatists. Okay. Build five more infantry. I'm getting ready for another war on Goed for money, I think. Deck on the both, make it a three-way war. Yeah, that sounds like a great idea. I wonder, Laurent, can I? Ah, uh, no, I have a truth to go ahead, so I can't. Frozen Maw, Frozen Maw is at war with Sel Maldor. Okay, well. Dang it, game. You make it too easy for me to go and do wars, okay? Declare on Jad? Huge, finally. <laughs> finally, the kobold revenge on Jad. As it's always been wanted. And Katarata? Okay, but what if it's blue Katarata? Do you still want me to declare on blue Katarata? Like, what's up? You hate blue Katarata or something? Uh, also, we can afford this, so we'll take it. Trade power from ships. Will help me a little bit. And hopefully with our loot from... This war against Sel Maldor, we'll be able to... Uh, Not take a loan. Ghouls are attracted to a battlefield. Don't appreciate that. All right. Uh, Monstrous Conquest of you. There you go. Move in. Leave one guy behind. Go here. It's only level one fort, so... We'll be able to uh, get through it rather easily. Okay, we now have a border with the rent. That is interesting. I'll give you that. If only they didn't have all their. Oh ho 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 ho! Oh ho ho ho! Oh, oh come on, bro! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! None of their allies will join right now. And there's a coalition forming against them? If I wasn't at war with Sel Maldor, I would. But I'm not going to get myself into a two-front war. Ain't no way. Ain't no way I'm getting myself into a two-front war. Look, that coalition is building on the rent right now. We just let it build up. And then we declare. And then we will probably be able to... Uh, uh, convince it to fire. Or you 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 your forty, you only restart four times. <laughs> no, we we get everything first try. What do you mean? Uh, where's my navy? Do they have any heavies? They have four heavies. Our boats are staying home. <laughs> Our boats are staying home. We'll grab these islands in the peace deal one way or another. It's fine. It's fine. I'm a little concerned. Like Frozen Maw is at war with these guys. Like. Maybe declare on somebody over here. Probably makes more sense. Uh, yeah. We are almost at our governing capacity as well, which feels kind of bad. Now, what do I actually want in this war? That is the question of the day. Like, what's the actual goal here. Like, I want these two islands, obviously. Money. War reps. I mean, I'd love to take their capital, but we don't have the governing capacity for it. I can't take their trade power because I could pillage their capital, though. For eight, eight I don't think it's worth it. 
I'd rather just turn around and go deal with Laurent. I'm be straight up right now. Give me these two things. Give me money. Just a nice short truce. We don't need a crazy truce deal with them. All right, end the Gnomish hierarchy. Though we expelled their ilk more than a thousand years ago, the Gnomish hierarchy still persists on the island of Nimsgod and have remained a threat to our land since that day. We must take care to the seas, and we must take to the seas, destroy their island fortress, and end the Gnomish menace once and for all. Only then will kobolds be free to carve their own path. 10 prestige, 10% morale of navies, and we get a claim on Portnum. All right. Well, I didn't mean Diodarin, but, you know, now that I already clicked it, it's kind of already on. You can't just turn off Diodarin. That's illegal. Okay. Navy, definitely stay home. Navy, definitely stay home this time. We do have to fight Ruby Hold. Uh, who's killed Lysaian, who is also tech 7, but they're dwarves, so they're ugly and stupid. We'll kill them. I would like a morale of armies guy here. And I'm okay to run a bit of a deficit to get him. That seems well worth it to me in this case. And now we just hope that us declaring and weakening them will have the coalition fire. And then we're good. Then it's a it's a cakewalk to take Laurentish land. And I'm hoping we do take land in this war. We'll see how it goes. A gnomish minister? Oh, God. Uh, uh, Costler, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. I forgot I added new sounds. I was like, what is that? What is that? Kobolds again? Oh, no. What do you mean, oh, no? What do you mean by that? What do you, what do you mean, oh, no? We could take uh, Miltech early. Uh, I'll take a cheaper advisor. Still waiting to fire radical reforms. Uh, don't really want to take that. Okay, you give me twenty-seven guys. Move here. Reinforce. All right, we just sit back. We, we win fights, and then Laurent's going to have to get decked by this coalition, and it'll be fine. All is good. We're all good. How many heavies we're looking at in this war? Enough, but I'm seeing light ships here that are alone. So we're going to sink them. We're going to go back to protecting trade and staying at home during war. Stinky elves. Okay, go deal with our rebels. Oh, kind of go ahead to give us access. Vanale offers a loan. Uh, no. I'm not getting scammed by elves today. No, thank you. Oh, they canceled the access after I thanked them. I see how it is. I see how it is. It's fine, go ahead. I will remember this when our truce is up in a year or so. Okay. There's no way that's not a wipe. Thank you. There's 28,000 Laurentius troops. We gotta win this and get out of here. Gotta win this and get out of here, he said. Alright, that's taking war score from battles. So now we just don't do anything stupid. Which, knowing who's in charge of the run right now, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if that's gonna happen. So the rent will sit here and they will lose their manpower and they will lose their troops and this coalition is absolutely going to fire, right? One of you has to have the cojones to actually deck them, right? You are a kind-hearted militarist. That's not good. Take the movement buff mission. Uh, you know what? Yeah. That's probably worth it. Zoom! We have 30% movement speed right now. We are freaking, we're basically flying kobolds, which are a thing. Hey, there's radical reforms. Uh, I have a half off trader. Ooh, but I do want to keep that inflation going down. 
So get out of here, both of you. And give me that inflation guy back. Uh, we are about to max out on mill points. So... Let's do a bit of dev. Get rid of that. This, I mean, this is ruining our prosperity. There's one heavy here. Do you think our 21 light ships can beat one heavy? Surely. We're going to steal this heavy. We're going to steal it. You ready for this? It's so easy. It's free. It, it's free. It's a free heavy ship. Okay, our, our boats are going down. Their heavy has taken 3% damage. <laughs> uh... But all of our ships disengaged? No, we lost two. We lost two. Yeah, we did not. We didn't even touch their heavy. <laughs> didn't even touch the heavy ship. Oh, you know what we can do? We can start stating these up one by one. Okay, I just happened to state up see the strong aristocrats. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. You're not a colonial core, though. Do I have to set up the entire state for it to... That's so dumb. Maybe I need a month tick? <sighs> okay, coalition. Anytime. Anytime. Uh, let's get this on siege. Split our troops up here so we're not taking attrition. We're going to see what they do. We have ticking, so we're not like in a rush. We're chilling. We're chilling, we're chilling, we're chilling. Chilling like villains. Did kill eight boats though? Yeah, but they're like bad boats, but yes. We could take this woods fight against the red glades. Darn, that was bad. At least they, they did break off the siege, but they're going to reinforce in time. Do I stay in this? Yeah, they're breaking. No, not with those reinforcements. Damn. I can take equal losses, though. I can take equal losses. That is fine, because it is you who must survive the coalition, not me. <laughs> not this time, at least. Eventually, it will probably be me. But this time, I'm good. Where is my intense music at? I wish I just had, like, a button that could instantly play that. Uh, okay, can I start covering you now? 101 months. That's damn near criminal. That's damn near criminal, bro. Okay, I'm seeing a 10 to 1 here, so... Smack. If these guys walk away, we're hitting this stack right here. Lorraine has 14,000 troops, and the coalition has not fired. Bro, declare the coalition war. Why are you all cowards? Declare the war. What are you doing? What are you waiting for? <laughs> are you waiting for a better opportunity? Like, what's going on? Like, what? He has 8,000 troops, my guys. Go for it. But you know, do the ba-da. <laughs> like, nah, we're good. No, no, we don't need to do Kolish War. Why would we result to violence? It's unnecessary. It's like, bro, come on, do violence, do violence, do violence, do violence, do violence, do violence, do 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 the violence. Okay, you go here. There. That unseized, get that unseized. You're guaranteed by Gawed. I just cannot win. They just will not let me annex Reveria. No matter what I try. Every time I try and make a move to get Reveria, they're like, no. Warn. Ally. Guarantee. <laughs> just let me annex them. Okay. Now that's just rude. 
making me fight your rebels. I would never make the AI fight my rebels. He said, lying. <laughs> Being a liar. There we go. There's a punitive war. There's the Sorncost Independence War. Life is good. Well, not for Laurent, but life's good for me. And that's all that matters. Once again, Laurent, I say to you, uh, El Bozo. El Bozo. That's for game. I wish. I wish it was a free game. But Laurent will inevitably uh, come back from this. They'll get... They might, they might, they might, they might come back, I should say. There's no guarantee, but they'll probably get revanchism and come back stronger than ever. Missionary? <laughs> it takes so long to convert. It takes 101 months. 101 months. <laughs> I have plus three stability. Forever. I would need to accept Reverian or even Cliff Gnome. Do we want to accept them? Like, what's what are we doing here, you know? We could convert them away. Make them red scale. He who... No, he who in his kobolds is, is really shooting yourself in the foot on that one. You are really, really shooting yourself in the foot. Because everybody's going to hate you. Everybody. Why do I need to? To what? Convert? Or, or, or what? <laughs> what do I need to do? Which part? Hey, we can choose an idea group. Uh, needs to be a mill idea group. No. Before you even say it, we're not taking aristocratic. And we're not taking naval. Okay? It's not happening. Kobolds don't use cavalry. Look. Look, 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 look. Minus 20% cav combat ability. It's not happening. I think we go offensive. Defense for the RP. We are trying to take all of Kanor. All of Kanor. There's no defensive about that. We go kill. All right? We go, we kill, we move on. That's the plan. That's the plan. <laughs> Mercenary. No. <laughs> no. Please. And I don't know what we're going to take in this war yet, but we are probably going to take some land. Rent has particular risks now. These guys are just... They're just out there. Uh, let's send you over here so you don't get rolled. Like, I want to take this center of trade for sure. I want max money. I want war reps. Oh, for it, wait, you can use the Redeemer Leader now? Huh? It wasn't working earlier. It was not working earlier, but I guess it's working again. Take Portnum. Oh, they own Portnum. Yes. We will, in fact, own Portnum. They're actually very close to just accepting this peace deal right now. <sighs> I don't know how much I want to take. That's 43 AE right there. For two <laughs> provinces? <laughs> it's going to be slow, steady expansion. We're going espionage in this game, probably. Um... Offensive, espionage, admin idea, something like that. The AI will control Portland if you don't peace out now. Yeah, but I can just... I can just deck Riveria and fix that. Probably also want Diplo. Oh, true. Now, we probably want to go offensive Diplo admin, something like that.
Yeah, you know what? A nice short peace deal. Just a nice short peace deal. Truce doesn't have to last long. We got the coalition to fire on the rent. That was the whole goal. We get what we need. We get out. Now I have to figure out how to deal with Gwed. Uh, mission complete. Exterminate the gnomes. Uh, though the hierarchy has been defeated, the gnomes have not. To the south, the city of Portnum still throngs with our ancient foe. And as long as it remains, we cannot truly sleep soundly. We will end the gnomish threat, no matter the cost. Ten prestige, and it will become our culture and religion, which is nice. Which means we can also upgrade our government to a kingdom. Which means I have more governing capacity. And we can core all this up now. Yay! You are going to x Goo, this place. Go there. And then... Then we're going to go to war with Reveria. But I'm not going to target Reveria. I'm going to go target Gawed first. Get them, get their money. I don't even think we'll take their land. We'll just take their money. Surely he who knows doesn't change anything. But I've already converted so much. I've already converted so much. Well, there's no time like the present to start the conversion. Well, no, it's not true. It's not true. It's not true. We're going to need to take religious ideas, too. Maybe what we do is we go offensive... Offensive Diplo Religious Admin. And we take two admin ideas back to back and we just don't conquer during this period. And we just keep beating up our neighbors for money and building up. And then after we finish admin ideas, then we can start our expansion. Like our major expansions. Yeah? Uh, yes, this is the bit by conversion. Do you convert them that? Well, who says I won't culture convert them away? Uh, yeah, text not yet. Okay. Uh, all right. Let's clear on Reveria. We will be killing Reveria here. Hopefully. Okay, we're on his capital real quick. Like, he's only got a thousand defenders here. So if we get a wall breach, we may assault. Depending on how things go. You. Can deal with that. You no longer need a defensive edict on. You probably need to get a defensive edict at some point, but for now, let's be ready to deal with rebels. We didn't take much in the rent war, so they won't actually be able to recover at all. Uh, we could get Inno for taking Miltech, so we will. There we go. Beautiful. We have lots of money, so let's spend it. Uh, we know that building temples is good for us. It gives us government reform progress. So even if it's not great when it comes to income, uh, it is good for our country in general. So we're going to build them either way. Uh, hey, Mimilo. You want to treat for a big boy lizard attack? No, it's, this is just a run that I've wanted to do for a while, and... Um, no, we did not succeed the last time, so we're going to succeed this time. We win these. You see four restarts? Okay. Now, to be fair, one of them, the gnomes got a war wizard. Um, the other one was just bad by me. Um, one of them, the gnomes allied go wed. How do we have tech? Because I'm not just, I'm not memeing. Unless just memeing and going crazy with the conquest. I'm actually, like, being smart. AKA, not throwing. Dang. 
Dang. If only I was able to get up here and island trap them. Okay, you're getting sent out there. Could we use Diplos to get Spy Network? That's true. Uh, build Spy Network in Laurent, because we're going to be going to war with them when our truce is over. Build a Spy Network on... I don't care about anybody else. I guess I'll go ahead. Sure. Not these weak kobolds with their admin tech five. It is fourteen ninety with admin tech five, so you know we're not we're not too far behind here. I don't really want to lose my stability, but I don't have the money currently. We can just get Gawed's capital. We can go back. We can beat these troops up. I'll take the Inno. Nice. We actually got the siege to Gawed. Again, all I want from Gawed. Money. War reps. We might go for a humiliate this war. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Gotta go deal with these rebels. There we go. Uh, we have 640 defenders there, so let's get this stuff siege down. Ooh, 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 ooh. Catch that stack. Oh, if we were together, it would have been a... Oh, we still got the stack wipe. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. And I'm not worried about Riveria because they're fighting Laurent right now, so... I mean, worst case scenario is that Laurent occupies something, but considering they have a solid four troops, I don't think that's going to happen. I think we'll be all right. 4090 for Amatech five stars. Cold seems pretty good. Yeah, especially because we had to stab up to stab three. For Michon. For a Michon. I don't want to spread out too much here. But I will send you guys back to unseize this stuff. Damn. Real lone hours. Real lone hours. Boo, boo, boo. We need three stat was the reward? Uh, completing the mission. It was like 100 admin, 15 prestige, uh, national manpower, tolerance or true faith. Um, all good things. All good things. Yeah. We really need to get the rest of this, because then we can get down to possibly getting missionary strength and missionaries, which would really help. Really, 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 really help. Okay. Just keep sieging. Do any forts here? Nope, we're good to occupy it. I mean, I'd like to get a humiliate off. Uh, oh my god, huge. Ruler has one missionary strength? Or is that our heir? That was our ruler. Uh, you go get that unseaged, and that unseaged. You go there. You're gonna go join them? Uh, did we conquer Greenscale? Yeah, Greenscale got conquered by Sel Maldor, and then the Rebels broke away. So we got really lucky on that one. Uh, what is this peace deal looking like? It's looking fine. Okay, all of you make your way here. There's no rush to attack their capital, though, so we'll wait for these troops to make their way down. Still waiting on these Eagle Crestor Rebels. Still waiting. All right, you group up and get them, boys. Yeehaw! Oh, yeah. Bozos. All a bunch of bozos. Okay, I don't really want to go into the Fog of War, and I... Don't think I have the stealing of texts yet. Or stealing of maps. 
No, I do. I just don't have the siege or the spy network for it. Well, I mean, if we're just sitting here, man. Oh, hey. That's a war wizard. Would like to deal with that sooner rather than later. Go ahead, would accept money and war reps. I don't want to take any AE for this. We could save up your accumulate, but uh, I think I'd rather just take the money and go. Like, us taking money from these guys over and over and over again is going to just obliterate them. Like, Laurent is still stuck in their coalition war, and our truce is up in 98. Like, they're not going to be able to recover enough between now and then. And we just take small bits of land, one piece at a time, as we make our way towards annexing them. It also makes our inflation go to the moon. That's fine. It's going down, and I'll buy it down. Like, inflation, meh. Eventually, it will go down. Like, when we demonsterize, uh, then we can put on the thing that makes it buying down inflation cheaper. And the more money we make, the more we build. The more buildings we build, the better our economy is. And the better our economy is, the less inflation it causes. Big brain. This means the gold in the hole will reach to the moon. <laughs> That's right. That's right. That means our gold is worth more, right? It inflates the price of gold? Yes. And it must be good. Because inflation go up. And more up means more. And more means good. Clearly. Simple kobold logic. Necklace on medium is going to want out of this war soon. Those rebels are dealt with. Gawetti rebels rise up soon. Stand here. Because that's where they're going to rise up. Just you wait and see. Actually, they're more likely to rise up over there. But we'll stand here. Uh, new age ability? I mean... Let's go for... Uh, combat on terrain of capital. There's a lot of farmlands down here, and when we attack Laurent next time, we'll have to fight wars or battles. So, they did spawn up there. It's a lot of war exhaustion. Which I have to admit, I don't appreciate. I'm a cobalt and filling a hole, filly, filly hole, filling a hole. <laughs> yes. Yes. It's what we do. Uh, we need to state this. Uh, we will be an empire after we form Kobold Zan. So that's pretty cool. I see you down there. Uh, how much admin is this going to cost me? 232. Okay. I'd rather take the tech and not continue to get uh, corruption. Can also go to our economy here. And build that, which is another 0.75 ducats a month. There we go. Carver hold is taken. So now we just need... Neck lift to get out of the war. Wait, if I go up here, can I, like, loot provinces? Is that allowed? Do I get the loot from this? I don't think I do. No. Okay. It was worth a shot. It was worth a shot. Oh, we need to catch for various troops. Ugh. Okay, I don't want to siege that down. Alright, well. I, I guess we just wait. Minus four reasons, so. They're close to dipping out. Once they get this occupied, they're gonna sign their own grave. Unless this fort blocks me. Nope, it does not. Get them, boys! No more Rivarian troops allowed. Okay, they get to retreat far away, but it doesn't matter. 
it does matter actually for some reason that gave them more war enthusiasm don't know how that works but okay Riveria, I'm losing money, man, and I'm gaining war exhaustion. I would appreciate it if you let me leave this war. Would appreciate it. Or even Necliff. Necliff could let me leave, too. No, we're not going to do it. We're not. No, 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 no. They can stay there. It's fine. They're going to join the Empire and it's going to suck, but it's fine. We need the admin points for other things, okay? There we go. Riveria gets annexed. Ain't nobody declaring a coalition war now, okay? It's fine. Reduce that. Good. And as long as we keep Laurent and Goed in truces, we should be fine. Dang it. Okay, you're gonna go here. Cow keep? Yeah, they got released from Necliff in the the war. It looks like Duran is at war now. Wineport's declaring war on Laurent. Oh yeah. It's all coming together. Oh, yeah, it's all coming together. Uh, core that up. War exhaustion's going down. And once this is prosperous, uh, defeat Reveria. To our south, the Reveri Reverians remain a threat. Whether it's greedy conquerors seeking to take our lands or greedy mercenaries for gnomes, the Reverians have become nothing but a tall gnome. For the good of kobold kind, they must be destroyed. And conquer the Dragon Hills. Though we have secured the coast, the Eagle Kings of Gawed loom to the east. They can all too easily strike and cut our newly forged nation into pieces, so we must push into the foothills to keep them at bay. Conveniently, they have a fortified town at Eagle Crest we can use, which is long overdue for a reckoning for its hideous local traditions. We now control the city of Eagle Crest, heart of the Dragon Hills, and one of the most despicable places we have ever known. Even the gnomes did not flay our skin from our still warm corpses and parade around proudly in their scale mail. This ends today. Eagle Crest ends today. These demons will answer for their grisly tradition, and as human hides have no worth in combat, we shall find a more stylish means of response. Let's see how smug they look when their vaunted eagles plummet from the sky filled with shot. An eagle feather for every kobold's hat band, and omelets for breakfast. Province gets converted to red scale kobold and our religion. Lose development, bunch of devastation, go ahead hates me more, and for 20 years, uh... Get some stab cost reductions, morale armies, and your legitimacy. Cool. Right, and now we just need for our capital to become prosperous. And then we're good. That's almost going to be prosperous soon. Uh, we probably want to build a fort here at some point so this can stay prosperous. I don't care if Slorin hates me more. It's not like these people are ever really going to like me. Our truce with Sil Maldor will be up soon. We could go beat them up for money and trade. Yeah, let's do that. We can't take their trade necessarily, but... It's okay. Visors are cost to be an arm and a leg. That's why. Cheaper trader. I'll hire you. Uh, let's build two more cannons as well. Less than one war exhaustion too. Yeah, I know. I know. Uh, apparently we can start to convert things. Baycad? Which one is that? It's this one. Okay, if I full state it, then it should, should be all right. All right, the cannons will be built, and then we can deck them in about a year. 
So small, Cobalt just feels weird. What do you mean so small? What, wait, what do you mean so small? We are very large. We are doing good. What do you mean so small? So small, Cobalt. So small, Cobalt. What an average height for Cobalt, thank you very much. So small, Cobalt. Sell C's, give me my money. Build another marketplace. Build another marketplace. Uh, I mean, we have 87% control here. I don't really want to develop this cave. Um, at all. <laughs> to be honest with you, not one bit. We can build that there. I mean, I guess we just build more temples because we benefit a lot from that. 421 is not a great air, I will not lie. Will not lie. Go there. So 95, our truce with Selmaldor is up. 98, our truce with Laurent is up. Who? Okay. So we've we've done the thing where we have killed Laurent, but Duran's just going to become the new Laurent uh, and cause us a similar amount of issues. One more core in Riveria. Oh shoot! Yeah, you're right. It's this province. Well, I'm already building a marketplace, so after the marketplace is done. Uh, delete this fort. That is useless. We'll build a fort here, most likely. What do we do with halflings? Do we... The halflings? Because, like, if... If we don't... If... We don't yeet the halflings. They're going to become independent from us. <laughs> we already know this for a fact. They can do the small country. So I'm pretty sure we just kill them. Otherwise, things go bad for us. Chip them, fry them, stick them in the stew. <laughs> Damn, that's how I remember the song going. <laughs> I don't think Samwise is going to appreciate that very much. Uh, it does cost admin points to do this, but let's go ahead and get rid of them. Hey, Dutch Revolt, Small Country Revolt, so stupid. Yeah, and I, I'd like to avoid it if at all possible. If at all possible. Don't want it to happen. I'm good. Don't need it. I mean, sure, halflings give uh, dev cost and all that, but dev cost doesn't mean anything if your entire country gets taken away. But only purge half of them. Well, that's like a whole person. Uh, tribal warfare, plus one land leader fire and shock. Or fort defense. I'm going to go with the plus one land leader fire and shock. Because we're on the offensive. We're not on the defensive. We're not going to... We're not going to sit back and let people take attrition. Max attrition memes are funny, sure, but they have cannons, so it doesn't matter. Is accepting not an option? No. It's not an option. How am I supposed to make Canor Kobold if I let the halflings live? Huh? Huh? Did you ever think about that? No, you didn't. We're going to hire a green scale boy. He's short on patience. I had no patience for short people. May your treasure hoard randomly disappear from what you did to the halflings. Mm, I, there's nothing in the hoard right now, so that's fine. Is it he who and halflings and not the gnomes? Do you want to know why didn't he who the gnomes? Do you want to know why? You want to know why? You want to know why? This problem is right here. This one. This one. As Dame's here, I don't want to lose any development here whatsoever. Not one bit. Not one bit. I get less tax here, I don't care. 
I get less manpower here, I don't care. I get less sailors, I don't care. I get less unrest, I don't care. What I need is goods produced and monies from the production. That's all I care about. This is carrying my economy. Also, we can celebrate a festival. Wait, is this going to get rid of all of our bonuses? Because that's going to be very sad if I do that. And honestly, not sure it's worth. But only one way to find out. Collect donations. Our subjects will make a donation of 100 crowns to the horde. Oh. Oh. Well, that's actually not that bad. No, I can live with that. It doesn't take away the aspects. Uh, you kill them. You kill them. Again, I would like to turn around and make sure that we are fighting the rent on cooldown. So we could make sure that we are able to do that. That'd be great. Give me your war reps. Give me your money. Oh my god. Frozen Ma is up here. Scary orcs. Dealing. I mean, I could take like one province at a time in each of these wars, but I think we're just going to hold off for now. Yeah, I just want I just want war ups of money. That's all I want from you. Do the first horde bonus at more than 100? I'm assuming it's more than 100. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sue. Ruby Hold gets the Peasants' War because they're dumb and ugly. Dwarves, man. Start coring that up. Now, if we can just get Prosperous here, we're gonna develop Corrupt Connections. We'll take the Corruption. We just get Prosperous, then we can do the missions. Do the missions. Okay, you go down here. And our next war will be against Laurent. In two years. And we'll beat him up for money. And it'll be awesome. After we conquer Kenner, are we going to nuke it with the dragon? Of course we are. What are you, come on. Come on. Of course we're going to nuke it with the dragon. Who do you think I am? Who do you think you're talking to here? Who do you think you're talking to? Of course we are. Um, Cord is at zero. Un inexistent. Okay. Upgrade that to level two. So then I can start pulling in more trade from this area. Which is pretty sweet. Laurent is still, like, dead, though, right? Yeah, only 14,000 troops. No allies. Good. Good. All according to plan. Does the Horde Gold promise to actually produce gold? No, it should. It should. No. It produces copper until it produces coal. Independent sword cost? It is, in fact, an independent sword cost. The end of the Peasants' War. Well, that was a fast Peasants' War. <laughs> All right, fair enough. Uh, admins, uh, Ruby holds cheating. Ooh, that is a that is a B peck where I don't want them. Duran, I guess you are getting embargoed. Thanks for the power projection. I guess. Can I insult you as well? Because I would like that. Yay! More power projection. Start full stadium stuff? Nope. I need tech. I want this idea group unlocked. <sighs> I want the idea group unlocked. Why does it feel like we're playing on speed three? Does it feel slow? Look at that. War reps. We are living off of our war reps right now, by the way. Just so we're clear. I mean, we are paying out a lot of corruption, but... I'll leave it off of four reps. I would really like you to flip. Please. Please, please, please. Uh, we do own two things here. So 
So in this Laurent War, what do we actually want to do? Do we want to go for a show strength? Or do we... Oh, I think we stick money in war reps. I think we just keep beating them up for money. There we go. Production efficiency, 10%. Mining communities before the Great Rising saw people claim the overworld for the first time. We dwelled in subterranean communities devoted almost entirely to ore extraction and refinement. This has made us uncommonly skilled at most mining pursuits. Uh, when do I get to turn this cave into a hold? <laughs> Are you serious? My prosperity! Oh, <laughs> Dang it. Freaking wine port. More manpower. How many centers of trade can you go to? Um, in this next war? None. Oh my god. BPEC has grabbed these. That's gonna be. He's also allied with the rent now. That war just got a little bit more complicated. Damn. How in the world am I going to deal with that? I don't know. That's going to be so much AE. It's free visible. No, it's not free visible. It's not free visible because it's in the Empire. It's not free. Free would have been if Laurent kept it, but they lost it. And BPEC immediately went and annexed it and added it to the Empire. That'll be fun to deal with. That'll be fun to deal with. All right, there we go. That was another idea group. And I do think that we go for uh, diplomatic here. I think it's probably our best bet. No AU with the Empire. I'd have to... Get to those provinces first, though. Which means I would need to fight Elkwood. Which means I have to fight BPEC and Laurent anyways. Well, maybe that's what I do then. Maybe I declare on Elkwood here. It's so much A. I I would get Coalition for it. Without a doubt. I would, without a doubt, get coalition for taking those two provinces. Durand, Sornkost, Necklif, Vertask, Gawed, Selmaldor, Envermark, Reachspear, Cow's Keep, Red Glades, they'd all join. See, guys, I don't want maps. Maps mean people can join coalitions against me. But the EOA won't be mad. I mean, sure, true, but... Uh, let's unify the kobold people. With the kobold lands unified under one banner, we can proclaim the creation of Kobold Zan, a country ruled by kobolds for kobolds, no matter the color. Well, no, let's not do that yet, because that's even farther away from prosperity. Uh, but I can at least... Oh, I can't partial state that yet. Vassalize Vertesk and join the Empire. Oh, <laughs> yeah, let me just do that real quick. Let me just do that real quick. I don't know. Uh, we can't start our demonstration. So let's do that. We don't want to stay monstrous. It's some kind of alliance at some point would be nice. Alright, well, you know what? I think we're going to call it there for today, then. I think it's a good, a good spot to, uh, to end it on before we decide where we're going to go next. It's either into, into Laurent for money and war reps. They valid Pearl's Edge now. Or we declare on Elk March and try and grab Vizwal before the EOA can see us. Is it better to say Monstrous to World Conquest to free CB? Uh, we're going to go for Religious, so we'll have it anyways. We'll have it anyways. 
Plus, I want to get through my government reforms, and I want to reform into a different thing. Gooseberries. Yeah, I don't. I don't want to be a, a tribe. I want to be. I don't know if we're gonna go republic. We, if we're gonna go conquer a lot, then we should probably just go monarchy. So I see what the rest of the world looks like. I mean, I can show you what the rest of the world looks like. That's fine. I don't need to steal maps for that. There you go. The world. The world. That's very purple. There you go. That's what it looks like. Doesn't look like there's anything crazy going on. Um. Yeah. Prozama's large. That is the that is the big thing. Prozama's very large. I'm not gonna click on anything because I don't want to see like their diplomatic state or anything, but that's what they look like. Huh. Yeah, we knew Frozen Mod was large. We knew they were there. Since they... So Maldor has a core on them, which means they have to own it. Is Estel around? If it was a black tag, then yes. <laughs> Looking like a player out here right now. Snaking through, taking as much as they can. Zaka one? Yeah, Jad L. Average Jad L. Uh, become Zaka uh, own focus tree, or is this a dead end for this region? What do you mean? All right. Uh, yeah. So I'll be back tomorrow, same time, twelve o'clock p.m. PST, where we will continue to do the red scale things. We'll form Cobalt Zan, uh, and then we'll keep expanding slowly but surely, and we'll try and build up a little bit. Uh, it's very nice that we can take this trade out of Viswall now. It definitely buffs us. We do need to start moving into the Serpent Spine. So maybe our next Forest Cell Modeler, we consider taking a little bit of land. Because if we can pull the trade out of the Lower Allen into the Serpent's Head and then down into the Dragon Coast, like we have 89% control of this node right now. And as long as we keep moving down through Westport in a reasonable pace, then we'll continue to get it. It doesn't look like uh, that Duran is pulling trade at the moment. Once they do that, they'll probably pull a little bit more, but we have pretty good control. Did I say Serpent Spine? I meant Serpent's Head. I meant Serpent's Head. Serpent's Head. Raid? Yeah, we can look for a raid. Uh, let's see. Who is live right now? Uh, let's see. Is there anyone out there playing some Anbinar? Let's see. Zaka is the most important tag in Bulwar, so we'll never get a mission tree. Most important tag in Bulwar? No, I think it's pretty good. It's pretty clearly Jad. Come on. Come on. All right. Uh, okay, let's see. Anyone playing Ambinar? No, it doesn't look like it. Uh... Is is Simis almost done with his stream? Let's see. Let's see. I don't know. It looks like he's he still plays playing War Tales, which is uh, a game I have also played that I, I do enjoy it. I haven't played through all of it yet, but it's part of it. All right. Uh, I will see you guys on over to Simis then, and we will we will get back on the Kobold grind tomorrow. Easy. This is the run. This is the run. You right. We're, we're doing good, and as long as we don't screw it up, uh, it should be fine. But I'd like to thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.